Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And this is my husband, who you haven't seen probably in the last year. Does he look any different? Am I handsome as ever? You do look slightly different, but it's probably because he accidentally didn't cut his hair. And that's oh. <laughs> a long story, but you sh show them. You've got like a patch here and then not. It used to be way worse. We're trying to fix it, but yeah. we're not paying $50 to go to a barber. No, my, my, just very simple explanation. My clippers start working incorrectly, so I had to get different clippers. We have to get clippers. different clippers. That's and the as lady that. suggested we get three hundred dollar clippers. And if the lady knew us at all, that's yeah. not happening. We yeah. would rather deal with this. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, you're just going to have to deal with his. <laughs> you have to deal with this. This hair. <laughs> you have to deal with this. We are yeah. in our 1987 mobile home, and this is about as good as it's going to get for tonight. We might mic up in the future, but truly, this is the setup that's going to be good enough for today. So, it's going to be a longer video. We went to the Goodwill Sarasota Bargain Barns, which is the bins by the pound, two times. That's a lot. It was I, a lot. I, I'm sorry to have a question so early, yes. but you did mention them about the sound being different. Are yes. we Are we going to take any time to even listen to a little bit of this or nope. just continue on? Good luck. All right. We're trying to project, but we have a fan above <laughs> us and we don't know how to put the fan on low. It's either on or off and that's the 80s yes. for you. And so. it's not a fan like you guys are fans. Different thing. Yeah. <laughs> This one we can turn you off. We can pretend you're not there, but this one, this is just yeah, we have to have air. what it is. We have, to, we have, have air. to have air in this house. Um, so the first time we went was probably about two weeks ago. Yes, I would say so. And I was feeling okay-ish, and I made it about an hour. And then you said, I thought you said, mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you said, I'm glad we got us another cart because you can only have so many shopping carts there do you want to go? And I said, oh yeah. But in reality, you said. I don't, I don't even remember what I it said. It was something point. like, Are you ready should to go? I go get another cart? Oh. Do you want to I go again? Like another go run. again or like something. And I was like, and then he left and I was like, oh good. We are packing this up because it was oh, just you so I meant, much work. You thought I meant leave. Yeah. If you've never been to the yeah. bargain bins, first of all, go. <laughs> yeah. It is experience. aggressive. It's Even experience. if you stand, they literally line you up behind the yellow line and yeah. scream, go. And yes. they will throw you out and they will yeah. belittle you yeah. and be aggressive. You're just like one step short of having stripes, like the black and white stripes things. <laughs> Are so, You're like, that's that's as close as you'll ever be. Seriously, if you see kids around <laughs> without their parents, they're like, where are your parents? And they have to. It's, it's a chaotic fun environment yes. but you really have to go you didn't like it for a long time oh no well because I most mean, people don't like it the first the first dozen time you, times you, you just go. go look there it literally just looks like all junk it does the people threw out it's just like, like bins in giant junk. ours are big yeah. blue bins and <laughs> yes. they're deep and they put them like two or three deep so mm. anybody under the height of six foot you just can't mm. reach over <laughs> Which helps, except he had abdominal surgery. Yes. <laughs> so when he said, do you want to go? And I was like, oh, yeah, because I am just what's, dying. The, what's the first time? Did we do something before we, like, that that day? Was was there was there something that we had to do? Like, would I you, think we had to go to, go to the doctor's that's appointment. What I'm saying. So we, we had a doctor's in Sarasota appointment. That's, anyway. that's why. The, the very first time was that. That was the case. Oh, my gosh. So then, like, a couple of days later, I was like, do you want to go again? Because then I got caught by the bug. And I was like, we spent eighty dollars, which is a lot at the bins. It is, yeah. And we then found a lot you, of good stuff. And then we were like, okay, we'll go one more time. And we went. We had we spent about two hours there the second time. Yeah. And we spent about one hundred and fifty. So altogether, about two hundred dollars ish. Yeah. Give or take. But wait till you see how much stuff we got because like well, one the variety thing, is the thing too. The variety, you just never know. Yeah. And if you're not aggressive and if you stay back, there are other bins. There's probably at ours 40, 50 bins. Yes. Right? Yeah, probably. When I have them all rolled out. Yeah. 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 Once everybody kind of goes through them and creates a mess, yeah. nobody else wants to go through them. So if you're timid, you could go through the bins that everybody's already yeah. been. 
yeah. and potentially find really good stuff, yeah. but you really want to be lined up and aggressive. Well, not not only that, with the bins, in, well, not, that, not, I shouldn't say the bins in particular, in any type of reselling, you have, just have to know what you look for, which you know so much about so many things. Yeah. So when you go through, the, the, the majority of people won't see something that you'll catch. That's not necessarily. No, I mean, that's part of yeah. that's part of it, you know, that, so it doesn't, yeah, it helps me aggressive, but I told yeah. you a story about how I missed the thing I wanted. It was like those little mechanic things that you sit on with wheels and, you know, a stool and place to put your tools and stuff. And I wanted It's like that. a mechanic up yeah. and down, slide under the car. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah, this is something to work on things. You know, you can just wheel around. Work on things. You're right. All right. So <laughs> I just wanted to, I wanted that thing so bad and I missed it. Yeah. Also, okay. <laughs> this woman and I both looked at a hat and it was shiny. It was American <laughs> and I knew it wasn't worth very much. Yeah. But I thought it would be fun for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To, he's a musician. Yes. To like have shiny like, things. Yeah. To have a really fun, shiny cowboy hat. Yeah. Right. And we both grabbed it and we broke it because it was made of like oh. Dollar Tree paper. And she was like, you, and then she cursed at me. Oh. And I was like, it was a Dollar Tree hat. Like, how much did you want it? I'm like, I am so sorry. Did like, you, were you like, oh, no, we're throwing down right here. Come on. I, like I just like backed. I was like, I could not believe. Like, um, excuse me, can we throw this woman out? But that was, I mean, mm. you just have to. Yeah. It's all in good fun unless you get it is. It is all good fun. Word. It really is. Well, well, I even then. I'm going to start with something my mom would be proud of. This is very heavy. I think it's pewter. Feel this. It is very heavy. I know I inadvertently knocked it over and then it was like just ding. Yeah, it's, it is handmade. It's handmade? Yeah, it's a unique handmade. So what? And it weighs, it's copper. Oh, it is copper. It's three and a half pounds of copper. That was handmade, and any dents or discoloring are part of the beauty. So, see the stent he he dented, maybe maybe the bins no. dented it. Beautiful. Ah, but, but they, did really they have it like, on a machine? Is that what they mean? Like no, handmade it's on a machine? I don't know. But how do you? I don't know how you make. See the lines. How do you make anything? Well, the lines that mean like it's on a lathe. So you do it on. Uh, it's going on a lathe and. It, okay. And but it's it's pretty awesome. big. I mean, it's, it's probably awesome, yes. like sixteen inches, and it's three and a half pounds. Yeah. Um, and I'm not really into like shipping glass, but the more dented this becomes, supposedly the more beautiful. So I feel okay about it. Uh, theoretically, that started out as a flat, huge piece of what pewter? Copper. It's Cop copper. Okay. Uh, I said flat. pewter. It's copper. A flat, huge piece of yeah. copper. Theoretically, and yeah. on a lathe. Approximately three and a half pounds. That's amazing. I know. And we, okay, so the bins have different prices in different areas, and I'm giving you way too much information. Have we made ourselves clear? Seriously. <laughs> um, so clothing up to 25 pounds is $1.99. So if you get like 20 pounds, it's $1.99. If you get 26 pounds, it drops down to $1.59, I think. Don't quote me on the exact thing. So if you're going for like 23 pounds, just get a few extra things and donate them because it's cheaper. Electronics are 69 cents a pound. Glass and ceramics, 49 cents a pound. But when we came up with so many bins, there was no separating it the first time. I, I was just like, I, I literally was just going to make myself sick. So the guy was just like, this is a dollar. This is, they weren't really weighing too much of it yeah. the first time. The second time we organized way better. Well, can I have a short follow-up story with of that? Of course. Well, the category she just gave you, yes. she's always so good about like just helping in, in separating the thing. So when we go up, people behind us aren't waiting to do all this stuff. But in order to do that, we have so much stuff. You have to have multiple shopping carts. You do. Okay. And they so, want you to have one. Oh, yeah. So that's, this is a follow-up story to the rolling. This lady's like, you're only allowed to have one card. Yeah, we got yelled at. As we're, like, as we're like pulling them up to the place to check out. So and we have like four huge yeah. rugs. We have like these giant tables. And every card's full. Every card's and full. every card, like how are we? A separated full. I guess I we would have, yeah, we would have probably had to pay for a cart, take it out. Well, that's what she had in mind. But, but I didn't even, think even, of that until now. No, uh, but even to have the stuff. Yeah. Where do you keep that stuff while you, you know what I mean? Like you would lose know. so much stuff. 
Huh? If you, you bring if a big wanna... coat and you just start putting things that's in, what, I honestly don't know. But in order to fill like four. And some feet. of the carts are really tiny carts. Some yeah. of them are the double stack. Some are tiny and some are big. Some are the. But when they more. weigh them, they don't take that into consideration at all. So hopefully you have a really heavy or light cart. Oh, they don't take into consideration the weight of the cart. Yeah, but. They weigh all the carts the same. All and the, there's they like they give all the carts the same amount, amount. And some of the carts are way different. Yeah, they're all different carts from all different places and all different sizes. Well, I mean, a lot of them now are at least plastic. A lot of them are. A lot of them are. Yeah. But yeah. you know, okay, so anyway. Well, how are doing some thing. props? I mean, at least a little bit. Yeah, up. this is really pretty. Yeah, it's very really nice. So we'll see you like six stuff. or seven hours from now. <laughs> this is going <laughs> to be, my phone will die. Uh, do you want to show the light next? Oh, yeah. So when Bear gets up to the carts, I'm like, pick up anything. Literally anything. If you don't know what to pick up, just pick up something. Because something is better than nothing, even if you put it back. So I told him to pick up this light. It's heavy. And it's glass. So it's 49 cents a pound. Okay, that's all so we got. It, yeah, that's, that's all we got. <laughs> no, you can keep talking about it. Yeah. But too heavy. And um, I looked it it's up. It's a pendulum light. Yeah, and they are based on um, like uh, vintage ones, industrial vintage ones. I will sell it some Facebook Marketplace. I'll probably get about a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars for it. It's in really nice shape. The, this is an absolute must be in a stud light. Oh yeah. <laughs> there is no plug in the world. It's here. heavy. It is heavy, heavy. Yep. It's got to be at least five to ten pounds if that was three and a half. Five to almost oh, no, heavier than that. Okay. That, yeah, this is like this is like almost a twenty-five pound plate. Yeah, but we paid forty-nine cents for it, so yeah. So That's he good. picked that up, and I was like, okay, yes. because sometimes you don't know what to pick up. Okay, in my defense, in my yes. defense, she always says pick up anything, but for. They when they bring out new carts, that's when you line up. So they always bring out. They bring a, up like a, a whole line of carts. So a whole line of cart, a whole line of carts or, or bins, what we call bins, them, uh, that are probably six deep, probably six of them out. Probably, oh, at least six of them. At least at least six. Probably so, closer to so ten. So out of these six, you can you can decide which ones you want to stand by. Yeah, okay, you have to stand behind yeah, the yellow yeah. line, but you can like go until around. they say go. Yeah. I mean, they're get, they are getting a little lax on the letting you look through stuff. Before right? I did notice a few people not touching, but like I mean, looking you right up to, over. I mean, you can go right up to right up to the car. They don't, yeah, they, don't, they didn't they used to do that. They used to. Anyway, slackers. <laughs> no, anyways, it's fine. So, but yeah, she has to be behind. So, I, you get to choose wherever you want to stand. Sure. So she often says, "Just pick up anything." When I'm standing in front of a thing that I have. If you gave me the entire day to go through this thing, <laughs> I would not be able to find one thing in there that I would think I have no clue. It, it was some like, of it is clothing, it was, some is electronics. They do try In this to particular, categorize. it was like pots and pans. It was a yeah, whole thing was. full of pots and pans. Yeah. I'm like, I would have no idea what the just like pick up anything. I'm like, you've used pots and pans your whole life. Yes, just pick but, one up. but here's the point. And for our viewers out there, yeah. If you're one of those people, go to a different bin because yes. go to a bin that you if you, you might if you, have a chance. If you see even one thing that you think might be something is better than going to a pan bin where you can't pick up anything at all. You so could. That's what I did, yes. You just might yes. have to put yes. it back. Now I never ever ever have a problem she says, pick up that. Yes. Oh, I love it when she says that. Oh, yeah. that's good. Because I said pick up yeah. that light. Yeah, yeah, for things like that, which most people I know, I mean, probably most, they're not going to pick that light up. Well, I don't know if they could first. Well, of all. well because that's again, I mean, they put them in the middle, well, so you really have to. I mean, yes, it, we thank them for that. Yeah, it's chaotic. <laughs> Do you want to show them your wooden pole thing? Oh yes, absolutely. Let's see if any of you kitties out there know what this is. If you're any northerners, did you call people kitties? Sure. Okay. We can't do that. No, Sorry. we can do that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you meant kittens or like no, just kids, you know? DD. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Like like we're on some sort of uh, show. Uh, we are with on like some, a bouncing some ball. Sort of, sort like you could sing along. Would you like me to describe what I have in my hand or not? Go for it. Okay. If you're from up north, you might have an idea what this is. Or south. Yeah. Or Argentina. Or if you're near anywhere that you might have to scrape ice is oh, my yeah, point. Probably not. Okay, got yes, it. that's my point. This is, I thought this it was a, a garden thing. It's also <laughs> it's also but it's mostly an ice scraper, okay? okay. But it's also a garden thing like if you want to cut a straight edge in sod. Uh-huh. So you can just you know go straight You know edge. the community that takes care of our landscaping? Well 
Well, you what know, are we doing you know, with this? Well, in my mind, uh -huh. there may come, well, uh -huh. can we pause for a second? Well, you can pause. Or can I just say it now? Or you you can say it now. Loudly? Or, I mean, it's like so they can hear? Oh, like, sure. I mean, I'll cut it out if it's oh, okay, good. Okay, I, I, no, it won't be inappropriate. Don't call them the B word. No, no, no. It won't be inappropriate. It won't be inappropriate. It was only there may come a time okay. when we would stage the place because we may move at some point. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. So if we move, we at some have point, no plans of moving. We literally right. just unpack. Exactly. But that's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to point out sure. there like, oh, they're moving. No, yeah, that's no, not what I'm no. saying. But if we ever do, and I, I mean, I have a. Sh a little bit of a shed now which we do we have a giant <laughs> workshop not is, a little bit of a shed it's a detached well major workshop okay my dad had a full-size barn another building he had three a bathroom and a, a urinal bathroom. a I mean, refrigerator God. yes i mean everybody in the place would come in like they go this your shop yes. is nicer than my house yeah. So I have a little shed now. Well, it was like I'm a so, triple decker barn. It I'm was a huge thank, barn. I'm thankful for my little shed. My, yes. Is my point. My point it's is, it's not I, a shed you could just go and like get from. No, it's Depot. attached onto the building. Yeah, it's like it's outside. It's out. It's not attached. It's yes, attached to the breezeway. Yeah, like there's a roof there, right? Yeah, you can't. You can't go just from here into. You there. can't. You can't bring Dino's barns in here with the trailer and trail that off. No, but I'm You'd saying have to just connect I can't it from the get house. it from the house to there without walking outside that's correct okay so it's not attached to the house yes it's attached to the house by a carport uh, by a breezeway by a breezeway anyway. yes so you can't just hook onto it and pull out of there you have to sure cut it apart okay so i'm very thankful for that so i have room for a little bit of tool so if i'd ever need one of these things to stage the place and make it nicer than the actual and ground. honestly it was like a dollar oh yeah well okay. see the ground screw do, do a great job they but do. here's the thing if you're staging please that's a that's the one of the first things the curb appeal so if you yeah. really get down with and our the, curb appeal is really yeah. really nice we planted plants we got for yeah. free and i trimmed a whole bunch of holly, holly bushes as you, you know yeah yeah mm -hmm. but I, um remember that one house we saw that it was like for sale and then there was like whoa who, who's taking care of the ground here yeah and we were like we don't want to move here because that would be us right but it was right. really impressive right it was that's what i'm saying so when you're yeah. going to sell a place if you up the ground crew work you better yeah. sell. because people don't realize then you have to take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize it yeah. remember did. remember how we said we might be moving someday <laughs> be tomorrow <laughs> yes <laughs> get out your giant ice pick dirt thing I don't hear it. okay 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 grab the next thing from that pile uh, we, the we probably have a hundred oh my goodness yes okay tripod yes, a tripod mm -hmm. we have a tripod oh, it, yes. you're on it yes this one is a professional tilt all and you looked it up and it looks really i mean first of this, all this tripod would nice. kick that tripod's butt oh Let's yeah yeah, and this one probably cost like 60 bucks. I think this one was closer to 150. Very nice. This is a really nice tripod. It is very nice. I'll probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace because again, yeah, it's heavy. It's yeah. But electronics, 69 cents. Yeah. Logo. Okay. I was so excited nobody else picked this up. Does anybody want to play Barbies with me? Hmm. We just watched the Barbie movie. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good movie. Okay, so it's 19, nope. 2003, 2000, and it's a Volkswagen. This is prior to the movie, obviously. Um, depends on what movie. Barbie's been around since the 50s. Okay. But yes. The one we just saw with. Yeah, it's like 20 years old, so yeah. we just saw it. Um, it opens up, hold on. It has a sliding door. I know it has a sliding door because it's like, there we go. There we go. So the Barbies could get in and all the seats tilt. Oh, wow. And. It's a, oh, cool. And there's a TV in the back. Nice. And little cups for the cup holders. Are they, if I, am I wrong? Are they in, are they in Paris in the TV there? Oh. I think so. It's a mermaid under the ocean. Okay. There's little seashells. All right. They're watching like the Little Mermaid. Ah. But it's not like the best, best shape, but they seem to be going even in like this kind of shape for 50 to $60. Like, oh. oh, I just dropped my drink. Is this uh, another thing that you, no, you sell this online, right? I probably will sell this on eBay. Yeah, watch it. Oh, 
I'm, I, I might try to sell it. It's hard because with all of this stuff, I can only do so much and I am not doing well. well I mean, here's the deal. You can't get that much more on eBay than you would just- Probably uh, not. Oh, I broke my horn. Oh no. Oh no. I'll have to retest my horn. It was working. Oh. Absolutely. And there's like little mirrors and stuff. Yeah, it's very fun. I know. Yeah. It's so cute. Uh -huh. And there was a Barbie <laughs> flip-flop in it too. Uh -huh. But only one. Sad. Should I go next? No, this is easy. Okay. Blinds. We sell a whole bunch of blinds. So these are the kind that have like the remote control and are from like Home Depot. What are they called? Love the Flow. They had a brand name on them somewhere. Well, that might be on one of the ones over yeah, there. Yeah, and they have the brackets. I tried one. It is very fancy. You mean you tried one like working the remote? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was really impressive. That's after you brought it home? Yeah. Wow. And they don't fit any of our windows? Or... No. <laughs> well, okay. But they do sell on, at like, um, Lowe's, I think, sells them. It starts with an L brand, and it's like eight letters, and it's like Love Crow or something. Mm -hmm. um, they do sell for about 125 per piece, and we have five of them. Okay. So, and they seem to have all of the things. The next thing, I didn't know what it was, and we have about 23 of them. Yeah, I have Do you no, know what they are? No, I have no clue what they are. I thought there. they were pavers because they're really heavy ceramic. Oh. They are pot holders. You put three of them. Oh, just like when you're eating on your table. Um, no, like to put your ceramic pots on. So outside, like oh, have a oh, the display, pot to, so the to display them, and then the water won't drip and like stain your cement or something. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's a bad plan. Okay. Or whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Um, but I looked them up because they're all different shades of blue. They're all over yeah. there. They're very heavy. It showed them doing what you're saying? Yeah, well, well I I was trying to figure out if we could use them as some kind of border because yeah. mm -hmm. we might be selling a house. Um, <laughs> we're not. There's a theme here. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought they were really cool, and he charged me $2 for all of them, and they weigh a lot. Yeah. And they're all hand glazed, so it's so cool. And they're all like slightly different shades of blue. But for three of them, they were $18. And I have like 23 of them, so. Do you, do you know what I thought you meant? Like you could put this on, on a table like at a dinner. Okay. And you're, if you have a, a pot of stew, for example, or something. Oh, like, like trivets. Yeah, right. Yeah, you would sit them on. Sit sure. Them on, so I'm sure that would work, but yeah. I thought that's what you meant first. They kind of look like cars. They do kind of look like cars. Like Fred Flintstone lot. cars. Yeah. Next, you found. Oh, yes, it is. You want to show it? No, go ahead. It's vintage. And there's pool sticks, and the pool sticks sit here and here. Let me help hold this. Sure. And it's a clock. Yeah. And the clock works. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Fine. I checked it. Cool. And it's designed exclusively for collections, etc. Twenty, nope, two thousand five. Huh. I thought it was really cool. That was really Our cool. clubhouse has a pool table, so if it doesn't sell, yeah. Um, again, it was electronic, so they charge a lot cheaper. You're going to hear that a lot. You know, if I had to pay four dollars a pound for this, I wouldn't have picked it up because it's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. But I thought, at the very least, we could put it up in the clubhouse. Right. I think it's great. Thanks. Uh -huh. You picked it up. I picked that up. Yes, I did. Okay, you want to go? You must have picked this up. I did. Taylor it's Swift. a book. Taylor Swift. Is this is her this year's tour book or something? No. Oh, it's just a. Oh, oh, it's some of her songs. It's piano <laughs> music. That's what I'm saying. Yes. It's her songs. Yes. But not only that, this is now. See, this is if I knew her music, this is something I could play because there's chords, there's chords above it. Correct. You but, do but, know some of her music. Yeah. We've watched her movie. Okay, but well, anyways, you liked her. I movie. guess she's very good. Oh she's my gosh, very she's very good. good. Uh, yeah, an amazing. We are summary. huge Swifties. Me more so than you, but even you, would you call yourself a Swifty? Well, I I don't know that I would call myself a Swifty, but I certainly have a tremendous. Would you go to her concert if we could afford tickets? Uh, I suppose I'd go to see the spectacle. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, I mean, just what we saw on TV is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. She's very talented. I, I mean, I'm blown away that she writes a song every day. That's. Yeah, she writes songs. I mean, incredible. But yes, yeah, so so this is very good because yeah. if you really know how to read music, music, sure, you could play that. Or if you knew how to read yeah. chords, great. That's an F. 
<laughs> so it's an F chord. My mom allowed me, told me to take piano so I can read notes very slowly and very poorly. How many, how many tropes are flats right now? You just covered the I page. Um, you just that, want me to guess? Yep. I know this song. How many sharps are flat? Or an F. But there's one flat. There you go. Good job. Thanks. What it was it? just on what this page, it? though. What is it? What, what flat is it in key of F? It is the key of F, no. A. Hold on, yeah. I'm counting. Okay. A, C, it's B. B flat. A. Yes. That's only because it was Swifty. on that page. Well, it's okay. You still. I'm, look, I'm trying. I to. cheated. That's not cheating. You read it there. You, I know, but I read it on this page okay, because you okay. covered this one. And I just assumed. Well, you still read. Anyway, Good job. There you go. anyway, I, I would be the slowest Taylor Swift song of all time. <laughs> but anyway, they looked like Taylor gone for about twenty bucks. And how do you leave Taylor Swift behind? You don't. I, think, I go. You go. I, I go because I just got this picked up. You did pick this up. <laughs> and now I literally picked it up again. Yeah. It's a hair deal. Yep. Okay. And we live in an area where there are a lot of um, people who need help. My mom had these all the time. I know. These kind of things. Well, she had most of the kind with the hose. Uh huh. And it, had, so and it would blow up like a. Uh huh. Oh, come on. It was so hot on your head. Well, of course it was. She needed to <laughs> I know. Hair. She, I know. I'm just thinking of the torture. The torture you go through. For... So, again, sell for Facebook. But they do look even on. This one's fairly clean. Yeah, this. Uh, somebody did a really nice job. It's a hair dryer. You, you did you plug under. it in? I didn't plug it in. Hmm. I'm assuming it's working and very loud. Yeah, I'm assuming so. You know what? I think this should probably have a lock on here. Yeah, it's, it, ha it has the and lock. And now you can. Mine has a lock. Did you lock yours? I thought I did. But... Okay, try again. There you go. There you go. That's okay. locked. Good. Good. Um, and again, electronic. So, huh. Okay. 69 yeah. cents. You go. Okay, I'm going to bring up a bag and just go through it. Good. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I help? There we go. All right. Okay. First thing, because now we live in a community and I decided to decorate with Christmas lights last year with a broken foot. Um, and look how pretty these are. So very nice. You're not going to be able to see them, but I plugged them in. They are so pretty. And they, they have the hanging things, so I can hang them from the trees. Mom would be very proud. I know. She loved hanging icicles. They're icicles. They're like right. really nice icicles, though. Yeah. Used for icicle style lights only. Well, I don't know what else we would do with them. Yeah, hang them in, hang them in the shop. I hung my other you lights. You did hang some LED lights in a shop. You did a great job. <laughs> um, then I got some ribbon because I'm always looking for ribbon. This one is Christmas ribbon. Okay. And then this one is Easter ribbon, and I just realized I missed Easter. I found that, didn't I? I don't did know, I find probably. I think I found the ribbon. This thing. This thing? I think so. Yeah, I figured I would wrap the um, light post, okay. except Easter was two days ago, and I completely forgot about Easter. So this will have to be a next Easter project. Sure. It'll keep. It'll keep. Yeah. <laughs> Show them. Well, you didn't even see these. I, I assume they're Christmas lights. They are Christmas lights. You have to take them out. Yeah, okay. I don't want to take them out because they're probably going to miss up them. Yeah. But they, they're very fun looking. Look how fun looking those are. I know. Yeah, and they're, they're, the, they're the good size ones. They're like this big. They're I know. I'm so excited about decorating for Christmas. Kind of right now, but you know, in like nine months, probably not. Yeah. And then we just picked up some empty jewelry boxes because I ship jewelry a lot. This one is a K Jewelers, and that one is just a ring box. And I pay about a dollar for one of these boxes, and this one probably costs like a quarter, and this one probably costs like five cents. You know what might happen in nine months? We might move. <laughs> no, no. Just... We picked this up because it was the right color. Yeah, it is the right color. And it's a cool shape. It is very cool. I don't know where we're gonna put it. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. If but, we don't, if we don't find some cool place for it, we'll sell it. But yeah, we gotta find it's something. probably like Target or something. It's probably. it does have like this kind of thing on it, which is really nice because oh, yeah. you don't have the toggles. to. Toggles. Yeah, on the on the yeah. in line. What does it say on it? Huh. Electronic cord. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, it's fun though. Very. Yeah. Cool. Right. Very nice. Fun. I mm -hmm. like the shape of it. Mm -hmm. Electronics. Uh, then we picked up um, some of our cell phone cords, one for the car, 
one for the house because we go through cell phone cords more than any other person I've ever known. Mm. That means me. No, I do too. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what this is and still am not. I mean, it's a turkey, I think. I think it's a peacock. A peacock? Well, it doesn't, I mean, it's a pretty lame peacock because it doesn't have any colors. It has lots of colors. It's got four colors. What well, are you talking about? What's what's the Roji Biv thing? There's no Roji Biv there. There's no red or orange. Like, doesn't a peacock have like all kinds of... I think those are female or male peacocks. Okay. Anyway, it, it does have a brand name and it was made in the USA. So I think this is a dog I think it's thing. a dog toy. Yes. Or a dog like you put snuggle it over, you thing. Put, no, I think you put it over a dog. You think it's a costume? Yes. It exactly. has no straps. No. Well, I think that's why. See how sticky it is? You think a dog would just allow this? Yes. There's plenty of dogs <laughs> that would do this. Yes. You're, you have a human doing it. You think a dog won't do this? You love me a lot. I think it's like more for... You just put a dog thing on Yeah, head. or maybe it's... A, but it does say... Um, maybe it's for a baby. Either one of those two, I'll take. Yeah. I-N-J-O-Y-A. I don't know. It just looked really well made. Enjoy ya. Yeah. And like every loop is really good. I don't know. I think it's a play on enjoy. I'm gonna give you those and you can guess what they are. Well, those are fake peas. String okay. string string peas. Now take them out. This is the toughest part with these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. That's a pen now or something. Not a pen. I don't know what it is now. It's a candle. Oh, it's a candle. Huh. And you just have to put it in something that would stay up like that. Huh? Yeah, most candle holders are kind of that. Do they smell? Do they, do they smell or am I imagining it? Do they have a little bit of a scent to them? I think they smell like wax, like old wax. Okay. And do I think I'm going to get more than, you know, like $5 for these three peas? But come on, how the could you leave behind I guess, I understand. I guess. string bean peas or Pea String? pod candle piece. Yeah, I wonder how they get that effect. Like, is there a ball in there? Actually, a wax ball, maybe. I don't know. They'd have to be all wax smelt. Yes, it would. I just liked them a whole lot. Yes, they're very nice. And I for enjoy. like 25 cents, if they bring me joy. Absolutely. I even, can read to me. Even what's her name would agree. Who? The, the, uh, the uh, brings you joy lady. Oh, we read her book. We yeah. liked her book. Yes, she's very good. Yeah, we, she, even has, she even had a Netflix thing. Yeah, we like that too. Uh -huh. um, tissue paper, not Justin Roberts, so I'll just use it to stuff things, but I mean, it's almost free, so. Two bags of gray wigs, and the same kind, and they were sold on QVC. I opened this one, and um, a lot of people with alopecia or aging just truly don't feel like doing their hair, and. Um, uh -huh. That's me. You don't have alopecia. No, I mean, I don't feel like doing my hair. That's why it's so short. I just oh. cut it. That's it. Oh, um, but they're the same style. And like, that's kind of like a, a popular style. And usually QVC sells these for like $89. And there's two exact. And I was like, oh, done. I am so selling these. Even if I get $25, they were. For the pair? Yeah. Okay. I might get more, honestly. All right. Then we found this, and it says Giving Collection Handmade with Love. Did you find this? No, this is so very soft, though. It's so soft. And I thought it was a table runner, then I thought it was a blanket, and then I realized it had pockets. Huh. And I think it's like a, it's like a shawl throw, yeah. and it has pockets on the side, and they retail for... Don't quote me exactly, but somewhere between like fifty and eighty dollars. Mm, very nice. Right? Yes. And I don't know what it's made of, but it's not itchy. Like yeah. I could be okay with this. Well, I would hope so. Gee, it's so soft. So soft, but not yeah. like like cashmere soft. No. I don't know what it is. I don't either. Here, we'll let you go through this stuff. Okay. Yeah. There's stuff over here I can go through. Go for it. Okay. Well, first I'm going to go through these. What you gave me here is purses or something I know nothing else about. Uh-huh. I know. Fellon, F-E-L-L-N. Is that what it is? F-E. Uh, F-E-L-L-I-N-I. -L -L -I? 
Carlo Fellini? Carlo Fellini. And I figured I would sell stuff. them as a lot because okay. they're all kind of vintage and all kind of cool. This is very cool. Yeah, this one has the kiss lock and like... Oh, the kiss lock. That the you lock? forgot. Yeah, this is called a kiss lock. Okay. And it's copper and you can tuck this in or take it off and it has like is this that, is cool that, flowery thing. Is that... Is that what if one of these called a snatch purse? A snatch? A snap? No, a snatch purse. Like the size of it. Like clutch. Clutch. So close. S sorry. No, why are you sorry? <laughs> That's, That's guess. impressive, you know. Okay. This one also has a strap. So you could wear it shoulder, cross body, but I liked the colors. Aren't they fun? Yes, they are very fun. I really like it's almost iridescent. It is iridescent. Mm -hmm. Is are you it? saying it literally is iridescent? No, it is. Oh, okay. Iridescent has that sheen. Yes. And it has a little bit of a pocket. It almost feels like leather inside. Mm -hmm. Could it be leather? Why wouldn't it? Why not? I don't know. Sure. Sure, it could be leather. Of course. Why? <laughs> there would be no reason why. Uh-huh. Good heavens. This, oh, I guess it's supposed to open that stiffly. It's a cool red purse. The shoulder strap in it. Uh-huh. Good job. I like how it has this... Uh, there's a band of a metal band inside that holds it open as long as you're holding it open and as soon as you kind of let go it goes back and forth. yeah you're right yeah. does it have a brand name they all seem to be made like i would say in the 70s or 80s this is signed the brass is signed oh, well. but i don't recognize i mean if somebody is signing their own brass it's probably <laughs> but it has like this ruffle thing Mm -hmm. And you can carry it as a snatch or clutch, as we call them. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay, this is very, awesome. this is very vintage, uh, sort of fish netty feeling. Mm -hmm. Metal. Metal, yes. Uh huh. And uh, you have to show the people. Yes, I know. Well, I'm going to as soon as I figure out what's going on. Okay, so there's about one, two, three, four pockets. Three or four pockets inside there. And also a very cool chain strap for your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And this is mixing. Oh, this is white. Mm -hmm. Literally white. This is a, this is not silver or gold. Mm -hmm. So it's just white and then the gold. Very nice. It's all. Gold. Yeah, it has like this gold hard mm -hmm. frame. And, and once again, I would say that is leather inside. I know it does seem like leather inside. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's fake leather or real leather. Well, it's kind of, it looks like it's even aging like leather, leather yeah. this center part. Yeah. Okay, you got one more. Or two. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, again, we have a... Yeah, it's a like very, a chain mail type of thing. Yes. Very small, multi, well, it's, I mean, this looks like a dark kaleidoscope to me. I agree. Yeah. So the inside's just, you know, your basic black inside and you could fit a cell phone in there oh for sure well the extra pocket even yeah that extra pocket's pretty deep even so yeah Simple. and it snaps it does it does also have um a chain that's missing oh oh you mean just short but strap. some of those chains because i'm gonna lock them up have the chains that attach you have the toggles on yeah I ha well yeah and this one is j renee made in hong kong and somebody corrected me that hong kong I said Hong Kong is no longer, I don't know that I use the phrase country, and they said Hong Kong is part of China, but it's not its own separate country. So when you see something made in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. it usually predates it becoming part of a city center of China. So is that a good thing if it's made in Hong Kong? It just Kong? means it's old. It just Older. means it's old. Yeah. Because, because if, if it happened today, it would be made in China, not... Correct. Okay, I get it. Okay, next thing. Oh, it's purple inside. It is purple inside. And it comes with a little mirror. Okay. And I think I might keep this for myself. <laughs> because right now I am keeping all of my, um, and what's this? Stephanie Johnson. I don't know. I'm keeping all of my makeup in a plastic bag because when we packed to move, all of my makeup got accidentally donated to Goodwill along with a whole bunch of things like my last bag that I was using for the last few days accidentally got donated to Goodwill. So like my toothbrush, Goodwill's probably like, why did somebody donate? Oh no, Goodwill was not like that. I'm well, sure they get all kinds of stuff me. donated. <laughs> but like my hairbrush, my toothbrush, my face cream, like nothing new, nothing. My favorite pair of jeans, my favorite whatever it was. 
the reason I bought that, it was brand new. It had a box of Crest White Strips within date. And we all know Crest White Strips are like $40, $50. I could have taken them out of there, but I was so excited. This is a jumbo George Foreman grill, mm -hmm. which I tried and it works very well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, for me, it's too big, you know. And Plus I'm, we have a grill. Yes, and especially, yeah, if I'm gonna grill, I just go outside and, and do a grill, but it was very good. And it works as exactly as it's supposed to. It brings the grease right down here. And, yep, we know. probably paid maybe $2 for it, and we'll probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace. As I was, this is George Foreman, uh, some know is a boxer. Uh, I know some know he's just from, so today as I was walking out of the gym, there was- He's back in the gym. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So today as I was walking out of the gym, there was a, a, a couple, a guy and a girl, I don't know if they're a couple, but they were together and standing at the back of the car, waiting to go in the gym. And as I, he didn't know I was behind him, so was, he, he was standing, he was like, He's like, you know, he's shadow. He's like, he's like punching and stuff. So this girl, this girl goes, when she gets out of the car, you know, she comes back and she's like, okay, you ready to go? I go, he's ready already, man. I said, and the guy, like, he, you know, he started laughing. I go, I saw him over there throwing in punches, you know. That's funny. Uh, Do you know that George named his children? You all George. Know that. Yeah. All George, yeah. Every single one. Even the girls. Yeah. George Ed, actually, but still. I lost some things here. Oh, yes, you did. Here, you can show this. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a an ice scooper, which currently, for the next several days, will do me no good whatsoever because we agreed that I was not going to have any dairy or stuff like that because I had an ultrasound today. And apparently the ultrasound shows a big pocket of gas in me. That wasn't what we were looking for. We were no. looking to see if they got all the ligaments cut from around the arteries but he was having pain and our ultrasound technician I saw her face you didn't she's like that's because you have a big pocket of gas there and I was like <laughs> I was laughing why was that funny just because of because you were like that's really tender try not is that the oh, reason why uh -huh. I'm hurting so badly and she's like yeah that's gas yeah well, I don't care what it is. I just want to get, if they can get it out of there, but apparently that's what it is. So, well, that part of it was, that, we, that, that wasn't the, why we the, went to the, the ultrasound. Yeah, I had mouths for the, do we, I don't know, do we even tell Everybody people? knows. Okay. So I had mouths, so they, apparently they fixed what was wrong, according to what's. The arteries popped back my girl, open. My girl was there and she was watching, she was watching as they do the ultrasound. So yeah. they, all, they all look open and everything, but. The one spot she was hitting was like really. I said you really light me up, man. I was like. You said it a couple times because yes. you were wincing in pain. Yes. And you weren't having a facial angle. Like, no. No. I knew you hurt. And yes. I knew you were going to say so, something, but I could see the ultrasound. Okay. Machine. Okay. That's and fine. not that I've been trained, but I've googled enough to know the arteries were open and she well, was measuring. Well, fortunately, and were doing fortunately, well. the lady was so very sweet and she insane. Was so nice. Yes, I mean, that's really helpful. I think it's so stupid that they don't let the technician say anything. She didn't say anything about the arteries. No, the she blood didn't, blood no. The heart rate no, all I said is that, yeah. I said, what's causing that thing there? And she said, that's gas. And I'm like, okay, good, yeah. now I have an idea. She said, that's a really big yeah. pocket of gas. Yeah, I don't see why that's funny. I don't get why that's funny. <laughs> I don't understand why it's funny about that. Because like, you're this giant man who had a major surgery and yeah. we're checking your arteries. So would you feel better if it was like a giant tumor? No, no. <laughs> but then you were like so sensitive about it. And then she's like- Yeah, it really hurts. It's, yeah, no, I believe you, gas it hurts. If yes. you've ever had gallbladder surgery oh and had gas in your shoulders or wherever, it hurts. But anyway, All show right. me your gas. So for the next several can. days, we said, okay, we're gonna try to go back to really eating, really, eating really clean, which is like I'm eating rice and eggs and bread you know try and to... some people won't think that's clean but that's like a you uh, to you people you're not my friends <laughs> anybody who says rice and eggs and chicken are not clean you're but not that is like a non-gas it's specifically for males it's specifically for what okay so has. anyways so, but this is an ice cream because I do eat ice cream once in a while and it's like- it, Only vanilla because if he has any other flavor, I have no willpower and it will make me sick, but I will eat it. Yes, well she, she eats anything. Anything of any, doesn't matter if it's any kind of sweet. And I, I'm like, I'm I, gonna be like, sick and this is gonna make me yeah. break out, but I will take a bite of this. Then if you know 
I just want to say right now, if you find out later in life, I am not a monster. Okay, I hide candy throughout the house because I'm okay. requested to hide candy throughout the house. I wish so bad I could come home and go, here's your candy, here's my candy. No. no. If I left the house, <laughs> it would all become one. I'd be like, Snicker yeah. bars? Yeah, this is yeah. going to make me vomit later. I'm eating Snicker bars. Oh, that's what a lot of that was. That's what a lot of that was. No, okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. Didn't have a singular. No, that, that, that was look, mangoes. Oh, that's right, mangoes. Anyways, I, I won't tried be, mangoes. I won't be eating any. I won't be eating any ice cream. It's a KitchenAid and kitchen. it's pink. KitchenAid is pink. It matches this mauve, mauve color. Yeah, it does. Very we good. could we could put it up there. Yes. And I thought this was really cool. It was uh, just a cool looking clock that happens to be digital mm -hmm. but i didn't realize that it lit it's lit up all the time you can't really see it now but you will be able to see when i put this little tap on is it, it analog or digital it's digital it's, so it's, it's, it's analog well this is an analog it's, no, no, clock but it's analog clock uh-huh but here i see i was clicking digital like it's not sweeping it's not yeah but whatever whatever okay. it doesn't matter it's a clock it, it's, it's an clock. electronic a clock it analog works. clock yes. Yes. and it works and when you, it's really cool when you put this and i didn't i don't really need it in my room but what i realized no. the other day is i can put it in the shop i know you have somewhat of an obsession obsession with clocks yeah i do yeah. oh i'll tell, i can tell you about that okay. <laughs> did you grow up without clocks no but ironically in my suburban growing up no country i thought it was suburbia i didn't honestly I, I didn't realize it's as extreme in country and ironically right across this, this road from my house was the quintessential country store which had two gas pumps mm -hmm. and like in some, and a trailer it, not not back in the day oh they added that afterward yeah yeah that trailer mm -hmm. wasn't there it okay. was just it was just a gas station and two pumps okay and yeah back in the back they still had to pit for the mechanic and all that kind of stuff and the, the hose was there with the air that you could get for free and they come out and wash your windows and whatever okay but there okay well, let me take me back to what, what i started clocks. This, the clocks because over in that store they always had this like always was a cool clock it was a sanitary clock that they got for free okay you know, it was like you know promotional thing sure sure and when the store was kind of closing down they gave it to me and it was up in the attic for years and years and years that clock and then we married and i probably sold it <laughs> which is fine which is not <laughs> serious which care. happens with most of i don't care but i'm sure that's what's in my mind you know back when i was a kid seeing those kind of clocks those kind of yeah. neon clocks and you whatever. really like clocks i do yeah Okay, now we have a whole bunch of this. I somebody hand tatted, which not this is hand tatted. What uh, are you have, hand tatted you? is a craftsman. Um, okay, you know crochet. Well, n not really. I mean, that, you know, that, that involves needles. Yes. Crochet does. Okay. Yes. Tatting is taking very fine pieces of string for lack of a better term okay and creating the most intricate small lace they did it a lot back in like the hundreds but people still do it but it is a dying art okay may i simplify yes you're telling me that this yes. thing was hand sewn by somebody not this one this oh. one was but this isn't hand tatting <laughs> you see it now i couldn't get a straight i don't know i don't I, okay. don't I don't know how this i made. don't know that much about hand tatting. I okay. know there is a school, okay. I believe in the UK, that has where you could go to a college and learn about hand tatting and embroidery. Okay. So, okay. so real, real hand tatting yes. is yes. somebody with something like this. Yes. If it, if it was real, yes. someone would have sewn something like this you're by saying hand. sewn but not with a sewing machine they no 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 I'm, no they have yes. needles yes they have needles in there with thread yes. some sort of thread and they're sewing yes so the needles have to be minuscule exactly. by the way too so and okay. it takes hundreds and hundreds of hours and oh, usually they sure. do like one lace collar yes but there are people out there who i can name and i'm not going to because you yes. don't care but the point, but the point is, if who are famous with this art? You mean they're still doing it today? Yes. Okay. So if you had a real one, if you did, yes, it should be worth what? Almost nothing. What? 
It's like people that crochet or make baby afghans. Cool, yeah, okay. And spend hours and hours and hours. Yes. And then you find them at Goodwill for nine ninety nine. Like the value isn't always the equivalent of how many hours and skill it okay. takes. All right, well. If you saw Picasso laying on the ground and you didn't know Picasso and you didn't know how to paint, you'd be like, well, that's just a crappy painting and maybe throw it in the trash. But it's worth millions of dollars. I mean, the only reason I'd be glad to have a Picasso is yes. because it was worth millions of dollars. But if you didn't reason. know that. <laughs> if I didn't know that, sure. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Okay. So I bought a lot of, this is just true lace. This is machine lace, but I can wrap packages in it. Yes. So I picked up a lot of machine lace. Now this one might not be machine. Yeah. This one is very close to hand hatting. I can't confirm it. The, but but in your analogy though, the, yes. only, the only thing, reason that didn't work is because that painting yes. ended up being worth zillions of dollars. These Correct. things end up being worth nothing. Not Anyways. always. There are famous tatters. Okay, that would be worth, for example. Let's say you came across one that's known for, the I'm tat saying tatting for the Queen of England at the time. Okay. Well, how would you document that, but whatever. The Queen would have it in, in pictures, and oh, obviously okay. pictures okay. didn't okay. exist. They would have to be, yeah. photos didn't exist. Chipping. They'd have to be, it's anyway, dumb. it doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter, tell me. Tell okay. Me. Yeah. They could be worth thousands, but they would be in awful condition. But again, thousands, like hundreds of were, thousands? Uh, not necessarily. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's yeah, just, it's, yeah, it's a lost art. Yeah, it is a lost so art. So anyway, I got a lot of lace and ribbons. Yeah. And by a lot, I mean yes. a, a lot. So you'll sell these as a lot? Uh, now this one, you can tell, is hand tatted. Okay. Every single stitch. Well, I don't know I, if your eyes can no, see. No, I have, definitely have to have my glasses. Is created in the round with the flower and then the black is added throughout. So that took hours and hours and hours. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, here are some, I already unpacked um, some of the pressed white strips. I was so excited about this. Um, and some more. This one is machine done. And this one machine done as well. Okay, so 116, that was our secondary bill. And more press white strips. So excited about those. Those might be my best find for me. Oh, these are elastic ish um, shoelaces. Shoelaces. Shoelaces, yes. I've become quite fond of these shoelaces because they're in all, all my shoes now. A lot of people, it's a, a brand new thing for a lot of people. They went viral on TikTok and there's now a brand, I think it's called Bread. Give or take a few letters. Man, you know, if you can't count on me to be who, who you can you count really on? You really are. There you go. Also stencils um, and a whole pack of different, I love fonts and graphics and stencils are expensive. And sometimes we need to make signs. I've made signs for you before for bands. And I am just so excited to find so many different fonts. Yes, very cool. That's very cool. Thanks. Yeah, and so even if like I didn't use them and let's say I had a package topper with somebody's name Rachel, I could yeah. just cut this off and then give Rachel the R. By the way, did you see Rachel, your cousin's um, picture of all the family together. I did. She has five kids and they're all so old. All so old. And Rachel. They're all Rachel's, so tall. Rachel looks the same. One. Well, she looks the same and she's like the smallest one of the bunch. I've known Rachel. Well, my whole life she's older than me by yeah. exactly a year and a half down to almost yeah. a minute. So I've known her literally my whole life. Rachel, is she, how Rachel's is she not aging? She's incredible. Like, yeah. how? And raise all those kids. Raise all those kids. And not only that, but I mean, you don't even know half of it. So we're not going to go into Rachel's personal story. But Right. She's awesome. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. We love you, Rachel. Yes, we do. She, I'm sure she's yeah. she's too busy, but she just bought a huge <laughs> house. She's like, I don't have time to watch those, those fools. Yeah, we um, bought some vintage stuff. Windmere, a curling iron that turns into a weapon of death for most people. Yeah, except you missed the most important word. Can you say it again? Windmere. Setting. Oh, setting pretty. 
It's the pretty curling iron. Oh, setting pretty. <laughs> setting pretty, okay. You when know, as opposed pretty. to all of those ugly curling irons. Well, I mean, in fairness, you could turn into it if you get bruises and all of it. You know. Oh, can I take out my hair? Yes, go ahead. I cut my hair. I chopped it all off. My mom chopped it probably five inches when she was here at the end of December on Christmas. Yes. My hair grows a lot. Um, and then I just chopped it a lot. And now I have pins in it because I almost always have pins in it. And it's going to look awful because I'm on day three. But, like, I added volume. I'm thrilled with it. Wonderful. And it gives her less headaches and all that stuff. Yes. So we love that. Yes. And we have the vintage Walkman. Like, I mean, this is a Sanyo. It happens to be a Sanyo. Stereo. It's a cassette. And I assume it's also an analog radio, probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably AM and FM. Probably AM and FM. Whoa. Yes. yes. Also, it comes with a headset, I think. Yes, I believe so. Um, these seem to be going for about $60, and these seem to go about $50. And again, electronics. There was a third vintage item. Uh, let's see. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, no, here. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, third and this one has a Radio Shack. Guess how much this was from Radio Shack? Not you. You already know. No, I don't really know. Okay, I, yes. No, I don't know at all. Okay. Uh, $13.95. It was fourteen ninety nine at Radio Shack. Oh, see, that's a good guess. Yeah, and it has, it has the, a flyer in it. A flyer in it, and not only a flyer, but coupons. Ah, uh, there, there is no Radio Shack at all anymore. Is there? Or, or no, Radio, Radio Shack is done. <laughs> R.I.P. Radio Shack. I know. Look like pagers. Oh. Uh. They were only $30. I remember my friend Rick had that back in the day. I thought it was so important because he had to have a pager for his business. My dad in the late 80s, possibly early 90s, right on the brink, had a car phone. Oh. But it only worked in the car. You couldn't. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. it was connected to the car. Yeah. We thought that was the best. Mine was old, the old flip kind. Yeah, we've, we've all had the flip kind. Mm -hmm. I'm not probably not like mine because first of the first one I had, if it would ring, uh -huh. it would say call on it. It said call. Yeah, that C A L L. No, okay. C A L L. Okay. If it was ringing, okay, you had no idea who it was. <laughs> the number wouldn't come up. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. It would just say call. There's a, like like there's a call coming. I mean, you couldn't tell from the ringing, I guess. Yeah, I bought these because they were of our color and they were silicone. I think. You put um, plates in them to dry, or there's spoon rests, or I saw one like pretend we do have a pot lid somewhere. Um, you could prop up your pot lid there, like and put your spoon there oh. and like your pot lid. They don't seem sturdy enough for any of that kind of pot correct. Stuff. But they are branded. Okay. And usually when things are branded. Like these could be mass produced in a factory in China. Yes. Or Bangladesh or Nicaragua or wherever. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Or any other. But um, when they brand them, that usually means they've added the extra step. And I think these. The extra step being extra step being we want you to know where these were. Exactly. Coming from. Okay. So it takes an extra computer to probably, do that. Probably more specifically, we want you to know where these did not come from. Yeah. Not where they came from as much as where they were not yeah. came from. But I don't know what we'll do with them. We'll probably <laughs> sell them. Yeah. But I really liked Some, them. Somebody tell us what you think they are. Yeah. yeah. They could definitely be glass holders. Uh, I, I looked at them. One was selling for $59.99 on Amazon. And one was selling for $3.99 on Timu. So somewhere between $4 and $60, we will sell these to you. Timo, Timo does all right once in a while, but you know, you have to be careful. We've returned a lot from Timo. <laughs> well, you were on a Timo kick there for a while. I did okay. You don't know what those are. You can. I don't know what those are. Also, we're about halfway done. So if you need to pause us or if you're asleep, I'm so glad you're sleeping. Please sleep. Yeah, seriously. Ironically, though, they wouldn't, if they were really sleepy, they wouldn't hear us say, continue sleeping. Sleep! You see, they're not going to hear that. I know, but I can yell it. And then I wake him up and tell them to sleep. He doesn't know what these are. They're really old tissues, first of all. Oh, uh, well, we're looking like some sort of glass. Uh, are these earrings? Nope. 
Well, they're ornaments then, like Christmas ornaments. They're little hand glass balls, and this one has a starfish. How in the world did these things make it to the bin? I have no idea. With these tissues. Okay, so I think there's five of them. This one is a manatee, but green. Green manatees don't really exist. We've seen manatees. We've had manatees come up to us. You're not supposed to touch them, but they are so friendly. This one's a little fish. And so these are Christmas ornaments? Um, you can float them in water. Okay. Or you can put them in like a barometric pressure. Okay, so the rise and fall. Rise and fall. This one has fallen off of his little thing, but it is in here. Okay. Or it was in here. Oh no, it was in here. Um, I don't know what he is to be fair. I'm gonna say penguin. I I would say because this looks like um a diver. Yeah. I would say he was a man diving. Oh, you think it's a man? Or a female? I mean, you think it's a. Not, I think it's not a, a human because yes. he has like a pipe in his mouth attached to like. Oh, flippers. okay. There you go. He's a scuba diver. Then. A yeah. scuba diver. Yes, that's what we're calling these. Scuba diver. There was a secondary, another ball in there. I don't. I don't want to tell you. I believe you. But anyway, will I get anything for these? No. But just the fact that they made them. Oh my goodness! I can't. Through the bins. And were those, ex I mean, not expensive, but at one time, like, to buy those, there's been... They're hand-blown glass, so, so like, I would maybe. say they'd probably be, like, 20 to $30. That looks like something you'd buy at, like, the beach or something, like at a boardwalk sale. Yeah, place. but they're hand-blown, like, somebody... Right. But some of the places are expensive on the boardwalk. Some of them are. The boardwalk. Let me know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, this is worth a lot of money. Look at that there for a while. Oh, that's... I am so excited about so many things. I'm feeling good. Can you tell? I wasn't feeling good earlier. I wasn't feeling good two days ago. We'll see. We'll see how you feel after the adrenaline wears off. Of I know. <laughs> two days ago, it was really, really rough. It was rough. Really, that was rough. We've had some rough days here around the Plymouth. Yeah, residence. that was a rough one. Oh, here's another Barbie boot from the Barbie, <laughs> but only one. She this wore a flip flop and a boot. This is a white noise machine, my girl's favorite white noise machine. So, she my favorite one. Here's how disappointing. So, when we lived in Pennsylvania, you lived in Pennsylvania for a gazillion years before you met me. Yep. And then I fell in love with you and I convinced you to fall in love with me. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I, I not just because you said it first, and so in fairness, you said I it did first. say it, but I pursued you, man. I, I pursued you. I don't know if I felt, I guess maybe a little. A, a little bit I pursued. Yeah. Um, anyway, so then we lived in a place with roosters. And I bought a really cheap one of these because it was before cell phones. And it broke all the time. And then I researched them. And this is the Electro Fan. And it's $50 all day long. It's been $50 for probably about 20 years. They do not go up, they do not go down. Ellen DeGeneres has like a care package, like a FabFitFun monthly box or used to. And her boxes used to be $50. And it came out that she had a spoiler. And now mind you, this was before I everybody I, didn't like Ellen DeGeneres. Okay, I don't know what a spoiler is. Um, like they give you an idea of what's in the box. Oh, okay. It was, it's a mystery box. Okay. But she said one of these was in the box. And oh. the box is $50 and this was $50 and I already had one. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm totally buying it. And they sold out immediately. And I was so upset. And this is really the only thing I wanted in the box. Yeah. So I have been watching these because we now use brown noise on our phone. Mm -hmm. But I still use this every single night. And and I wanted one for you. Yes. And I've tried to convince you to buy one for fifty dollars. Yes. And now we but, have one. But I don't need one. I know, but Okay. Because But I'm, I might send it to one of my favorite people. I just have to come up with one of my favorite people. Okay. Well Or sell it. I'll probably sell it. But I've been looking for it for like fifteen years and I found it at the bins. Amazing. Amazing. And did you have it plugged in? Yeah, it works. It's yeah. perfect. It's the yeah. same as mine. Yeah. Well, I use our A word, or in my case, Z word, not the Alexa. Oh, yeah. Alexa. Yeah. 
So, um... Just, I was just, trying just to play, come up with the A word, because I already said the B word. Oh, the... the, the <laughs> to play brown noise, to play brown noise. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes it goes in and out, and sometimes if you lose power... Well, I usually have my phone playing sketchy. something, too. Yeah. It, it mixes, and, you know, I've been playing... Recently, I've been playing birds. Yeah. Like, well, mm -hmm. you know, like, like, oh, it's springtime in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Birds. And it helps. I guess. I want to... <laughs> Do you know what this thing is? I think it's nothing more than a key ring. Kind of. Uh, but past that, no. Okay. So people don't use wallets anymore. Okay. Especially people under the age of 20. Wallets are out. If you own a wallet, Not you're old. immediately old. All right. If your birth year starts with 19, you're immediately old. But the wallet thing dates you even more. I have a wallet. People, instead of wallets, now wear this and okay. then attach their keys and like a card keeper to it. Okay, like but, I have a card keeper like that. Yeah, but most people have their cards now on their phone. Yes. Like Apple Pay and stuff. Okay. And nobody uses cash and who uses coins? I don't use coins, I have them. I keep- We collect coins. No, the only reason I collect them because I every place I go, they want to charge me to count them. I know. What? So now we just have bags of coins instead of having money. So anyway, so this just goes, and this was probably like $10, mm -hmm. but instead of a fanny pack, a lot of times if I run into like Walgreens or whatever, uh -huh. I am thrilled with this. So, so on that, you would just have your keys. keys and your cards. My, my phone, I would keep in my pocket most right. likely. Right. And my phone has the slide thing for the credit yeah. card. Okay. So this would so be on my keys. Yours has a slide thing just like mine. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So I I would have bought one of these on TikTok for $10 and I've been eyeing them up, but I thought I'm not buying a $10 thing because I'm me. And I found it. Good job. Thanks. Okay, these are things I've never seen before, but mm -hmm. you explained to me what they are, that you stretch them out and you put them over uh, foods for leftovers. Yeah, for different bowls size. and oh. different... Now, again, the reason I knew this, not only is it decent silicone, is because it has a brand name. Brand, yes. So you could Google it, but I already know what they are. And they come in packs of three, and they're like, I don't know, $15. But we have, a lot of times, we have bowls of whatever. And rather than... Toss them or put them in Tupperware. Tupperware or plastic bags that yes. you're throwing out. Mm -hmm. we have these Good deal. Things that we substitute as bag clips. Chip clips. Chip clips. And they're pretty colors. Okay, that would be my first bag. Oh, yay. Okay, you can open this because you don't know what this is. I'm. This know. might be the thing that brings the most money. Okay. No, probably not. Close. Okay, first show them so they can guess. I'll show you up close. Okay, right. it comes with a cord. Oh, I just licked my finger. That was probably a gross idea. Okay. Okay, do you know what it is now? I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's for the remote for the curtain rods. Yes, for uh, the curtain. chain ones. Yes, for chain. And they are worth, they're going, I will be able to sell this for over $70. Great. Awesome. Is that amazing? That's amazing. And here is the remote. Great. And all the instructions and how to plug it in. Awesome. And somebody put it in a bag for us. It wasn't just like yeah, all right. Here you go. Everything. <laughs> right. Amazing. Amazing. You made it through. I know. And we have a whole bunch of things with cords. But oh, really? most of the things in our house have those little beads, so we would need like four a trillion of these. I still have quite a bit of on my side. Do you want to go? No, or you yeah, go ahead, go ahead, because I'm okay. opening this up. Next here, we can both hold these up. Okay. These were hand appliqued and embroidered by a woman called, I'm assuming a woman, but it could be a man's name, Ellen Cobb. And I looked up Ellen Cobb artist, 
and I found um, she does acrylic and like watercolor. I don't think it's the same Ellen Cobb because the styles are so different, but they are canvas and like fiber art and really pretty. I think they're really pretty. Don't you think they're pretty? They are pretty. Very nice. Yeah. And I found one and I was like, yeah, but then I found the second one. And when you find two, you know, two is better than one. My mom always says. And some guy was going through the art and completely missed them. Yeah. But they could go like farmland. They could kind of go beachy nature. I'll probably sell them on Facebook marketplace, but look how cool. Like this is pieces of fabric she cut and then like hand stitch. Amazing people yeah how are you having time to do this now mind you i have time to do this but i just have no you don't have the health to do it so. well not only that i just hobbies you don't, you... i don't get hobbies well n no you don't have to have a hobby but you'd be doing tons of stuff if you were healthy yeah i would be doing tons of stuff if I could. okay next i will show you my husband's new shoes that weigh way too much for him oh my goodness these are so heavy it felt like I was back in high school. I used to wear uh, um, ankle weights all day long, <laughs> all day long in high school, because <laughs> uh, it helped. The, the theory was if you wear ankle weights, you know, it helped you jump in basketball. Oh. So prior to basketball season, I was wearing weights. That's what these reminded me of. They're so heavy, but they're very now nice. Now you used to do balance, and he's a 13 4 E, and they fit him, yes. and he cleaned them up, and they're gorgeous. So yes. even if we sell them, yeah. and he did put the special laces in. Yeah, because, gotta have the special lace. Yeah. Because they're stretchy. Yeah. But um, even if we sell them, we should be able to get like $30. Now, mind you, we probably paid like $4 because they're <laughs> heavy. Yeah. But you yeah. did try walking him. I yeah. loved you so much the other night. Was it last night, two nights ago? You walked around the neighborhood and you were back so soon. And I'm like, are you okay? Yeah. And you're like, I have to change out of these shoes. They're so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> that made me laugh. It was funny. It was no funny. doubt about it. I still have a lot. Okay. Are you okay with me? Keep going. Keep going. Do you need medicine? Uh, you can pause. Let's pause for a second. We're going to pause. All right. Okay. The next piece I found while Bear was in line with our three carts, don't tell everybody. Um, and this is attributed wrongly to an artist, I think called Louis or Lewis, but it is marked and it is Mersman. Somebody started the rumor in like the 80s that this famous artist designed this and they're worth thousands of piece dollars. They are not. I will probably get between I'm gonna say like fifty to hundred dollars for it locally on Facebook Marketplace. It has a smoky glass top, and you can see how thick the wood is. I'm guessing it's oak, and Bear did an amazing job cleaning it. Do you want to try to? It's glass. It's glass top, and just the overall design is. Stunning. the lines the curves and it is marked I'm sure you saw it on the back it is made in the USA but um yeah I am 99% sure it is Mers man and not this other person because his lines looked nothing like that the other reason we are standing up we needed a hose we only have one hose spigot that works and our house is rather big. That sounds awful. It's, it's not humble. It's a mobile home, but like we only have one spigot and now that we have to water grass and holly bushes, um, we were looking for one of these and we paid what, a dollar, two dollars? Yes, I'm not sure. Um, and it is a hose winder, except today we were in Sun City Center for Bears Ultrasound and we found one with 150 foot contractors, uh -huh, 150 feet contractors hose with like an upgraded one of these and she wanted $60 and we were like, oh yeah, because the, the hose we have now is what, 50 foot? Yeah. And it does not make it around the entire, I don't think, it, I think it's 50 because it's labeled um, and you have it duct taped. And you have it duct taped. Yes, I have it duct taped. So 
it was going. So yeah. um, we'll probably sell this one. It is from Walmart. We'll probably sell it for five or ten dollars. So again, we wanted it. My mom found an amazing one that was worth like a thousand dollars. I was so jealous. But then we found one that works too. And I'm not spending a thousand dollars. Okay. We'll be back. There's more. Sorry. There's also a really cool fountain outside. And when I was putting it up, there's a lot of people in golf carts and they're like, the garden's looking so good, Melissa. I know I'm getting a lot of credit for our $3 fountain and people are very excited about our fountain way more than I am. So are you excited about our fountain? Oh, let me come over here so I can show my excitement. <laughs> and I have it on our, um, our Casa, which was $10 and we use for our Christmas lights. It's like an on off smart switch. Yeah, a smart outdoor switch, which works for our, our Wi-Fi, thankfully, because there's no way I'm going out there battling holly bushes every time I need to take that stupid thing off. But it's so pretty, and it was $3, and it's very heavy, and it works so nicely. And I haven't yet checked. I have a utility outlet plugger in her to check the electric of any outlet, so I haven't checked it yet because I'm too scared to but I'm hoping it takes no more than a couple dollars a month to run. But I'll, I'll insert a photo here. Okay, for the next part, we are gonna hold up carpets. And by hold up carpets, I mean we are going to attempt to hold up carpets. We bought carpets. They were $2 to $4, and some of them are like, seven by five and some of them are eight by ten but they're all in really really good shape and some of them are wool this is probably the biggest one okay. um good enough yep and what do you think this is eight by ten yep yeah and it does have um it looks brand new don't you think it looks like yep. really really clean it does look really really clean and i think we paid five dollars for this this one I saw as a TikTok um, thing where they traced their car mats. You know, the mats like where your feet go in the car? Yes. And then they made this into their car mats. Oh, wow. But it's meant for a child, obviously. Yeah. But I'm sure, did you have one of these as a child? Nope. Dylan did, my cousin Jason did. And you can see why this would be a fun thing for children. It has like planes. And I think this one was $2. And again, really good shape. Okay, we've got three more. This one is branded, and this one was a dollar. And it says, personal creations made in China. And it's like that black rubbery stuff you put outside. But then, bring that one. You can buy these inserts. Now, obviously we're not gonna buy inserts because they're like $20, but this is the one that came with it. And it just happened to be our pink beach. Like it matches the pink and we needed, kind of needed one for out there. So I think we're <laughs> gonna keep this one. Kind of needed one. Well, we don't really like, come in that door, so. By kind of needed, we mean not at all. We didn't need it at all. But for a dollar, our community has noticed, oh, we bought a fountain too for $3. I'll insert a photo at the bins. We got a lot for 200. The bins is incredible. Okay, next one. You found this one on day two. Is this the right? Yeah. Yep. It is like a sagey green. We can carpet clean these too. I'm in the way. Um, and it's probably a five by seven. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. It is the Vista Collection Unique Loom 5x8 Cotton. It doesn't feel very cottony, I gotta tell you. And then this one is wool and really heavy. Like really heavy. And it's really big and it has a variation. So the blues where like it's light blues and dark blues and then it has the fringe on the two ends and it's also marked 
um, I think it's wool cotton. And I'd call it blue purple. Would you call it blue purple? I think that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Were those all the rugs we have? Yep. I think those were all the rugs we have. And like I said, we paid a dollar to about five dollars for each one of the rugs. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and then we're gonna come on back. Okay, here we are. This is a table tray that you can use to put across your lap on the couch or in the bed. Uh, you know, some people eat in bed or have a laptop to get put on here. Yeah. Various things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can also put it this way, I think. And um, for me personally, this would slide off okay, pretty yes. easy. Yes. But like if I had a bowl of soup, which I don't eat soup in bed, like it wouldn't slide off as much. Side to side, yes, it wouldn't slide. Side sure. To side. So I mean, if something were to, I would go this way with it. Where this, I have literally no chance. There's just. Yeah. Well, I think the point was to get it so it's off of your lap. Correct. Oh, good point. <laughs> I, think, I think. I think that's the point of this. But anyways, around here we they love. They are fifty cents each. We love wood. We do here. like wood. Everybody and, likes uh, wood. And it's a beautiful. I, do I, does everybody like wood? I guess. I not. feel like everybody likes wood. Well, I mean. Some people would like not be opposed to wood, but wouldn't want it as a decorative item or anything. Yeah, well, those are functional. That's not. I mean, those I are mean, functional. Yes. Stainless wood. Yes. But anyway. So, have you any stories for us? I do. Okay. We actually filmed filmed that part of it and then didn't film it. Didn't take. Okay. So Bear bought a bike seat, a really nice one at the bins, and probably less than a dollar. Now Bear has not been feeling well. And if you've not been feeling well and have started to feel slightly better, you get little bits of hope if you're lucky. If you're lucky, you feel like something in the world can fill up a void, a hole in your life, and give you even a little bit more hope. Even though you know it won't work. It won't work. You know it. it Things have changed our lives. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. Very rarely are those materialistic things. Very rare. Once in a while. But if you grow up poor, which neither one of us grew up Not poor, too poor. poor no. But definitely I wouldn't say middle class when I was growing up. And you grew up in the suburbs. <laughs> Yeah. Which I mean, was definitely worked, the country. My dad worked in a steel mill. Yeah, yeah. steel mill, yeah. which was better than a lot of the jobs. Well, far, you, you're either a farmer or you're working in a steel mill, but those were pretty, you know, or a coal yeah. miner. Or a coal miner. Coal miner. Yeah, yeah. those were like which the three jobs. Some of those guys worked in 42 inches. No, I know. Yeah. And you lived, the closest town was like 50 people. Yeah. And we talked about this to somebody today. I won't say who, because right. I don't want to call the person out. Right. Um, that your roads in your village, it's not even a town, were named after both your, your mom's side and your dad's side. Yes, yes. Like their actual last name. Yes, to this day. And yes. they called them, they were down in the hollow. <laughs> yeah, that's so right. So this was not the suburbs. <laughs> I, I grew up in the suburbs. Not so much suburbs. Not so much suburbs. So when Bear was starting to feel better, maybe a month ago. Yeah, yeah. Not right? too much it, to took, yeah. it took a long time. We're yeah. like into month four, and it's although, still although, although, yeah, hard. Although, just a real quick follow-up story, we could find out for sure because I actually put a note in my in my miscellaneous notes about I started watching this certain motorcycle on, and I was like, we'll see how I feel in a month. It's been like two months now or whatever. So go ahead. So he went through a, a like he wanted to go back to Pennsylvania, but if he went back to Pennsylvania, he wanted an electrical bicycle because. Pedaling is a lot of work. An electric bicycle would allow him to whatever. Well, no, wait, then wait, he was wait. looking at a motorcycle. Then we went to drums, which we've had drums, soul drums, had drums, soul drums. No, this one's. We had drums and soul. And then we shipped them. We bought them back. And then we, we sold them again. Yes, you're right. Sorry. It doesn't matter. You had it right there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> then he's been looking at guitars, and we have guitars just sitting in closets. Now, mind you, different guitars. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Right. But I understand yeah. wanting to look forward to literally anything. Yes. So the bike story. So maybe years ago, we found like a tractor bike, like a really nice big seat. It's called a saddle. A saddle, saddle seat, seat because yep. most mountain bikes and bikes in general have very tiny, uncomfortable it's, seats. It's a kind of bike, it's a kind of seat you see on the trikes. Yes. The tricycles. Yes. So we bought it, it was at the bins, it was almost no money. Mm -hmm. We've carried it 
from house to house yes. and we still have it. So when he mentioned the electric bicycle and he was inquiring, there's a place in Sarasota, this is such a long story, I'm so sorry, where you can go and test bikes. So he found one close by. It wasn't a ridiculous sale. price. Yeah. So he said, I've never done this. He was up front. I just want to see if I'm even going to like this. I'm six foot six. I don't know if I'm going to fit. So this woman nicely let Very him nice. take a test bike. Mm -hmm. But before this, because we've been known to buy RVs before without ever having driven an RV and then having a pan attack when the person drove the RV and then sold the RV almost immediately. And lost we money. We are not, well, we would have made a, a good bit of money, but the transmission blew and it cost us four grand. Yeah, whatever. Huh? Yeah. And we fixed it because that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had no choice. We, we had a choice. We could have not sold him the RV. But anyway, so, so we had the bike seat and then Bear bought a bike rack for only like $10 locally for the hypothetical bike he's never tried. And then we bought this bike seat, and then he tried out the bike. And now, if you're playing along from home, that yeah. would be two bike seats, <laughs> one bike rack, yeah, zero bikes. Zero bikes. Zero bikes. He okay. doesn't want a bike. I, I don't want a bike, so. so but, now we, but we will sell all these things and make money. So what I'm saying is, if you were trying to fill holes in your life, and it's a hole that you're like, looking at QVC and you're like, oh my goodness, I need this in your life. Give yourself a couple days. See if you still want the thing, especially if you're not going to make money. This was a dollar. We can easily sell this for probably $10 easily on Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big investment. So mm -hmm. I would love for you to have a bicycle. The only reason I want an electric bike in Pennsylvania yeah. is because yes. they have rails to trails there. Yes. They've made them extreme. They've, they've connected so many yes. trails. There's miles and miles and miles of trails now. In a short time, I would have to visit there. I would never get to see those trails, even yes. on a pedal bike. So if I had an electric bike, I could cover, because some of them go up to 30 miles an hour. Sure. So And we do have rails to trails here in Sarasota, but Sarasota, again, is like 45 minutes. Yeah, plus, yeah, like you have to sit in the parkway to get the uh, the irony. I so, know, but yeah. Anyways, so anyways, anyway, so anyways, so so just very quickly, I'm sure this my obsession here stems from as a child. Yeah. I decided that I wanted a horse so badly. Never, <laughs> never a pony, mind you, because I was. A, I forgot a, this story. Go ahead. I, I was always a big kid. Yeah, okay, you so were I was always a big, big kid. kid. I was a big kid. Yes. So I wanted a horse. So. I come up with this idea, like if I could make some money, don't ask me how in the world I was going to make any money. No. But if I could make... Tell some, them how some, much you made for like clearing fields. 50 work. cents an hour. 50 cents an hour. 50 cents an hour. Okay. That was Keep my going. Yeah. But that was when I was like 14, 15. Yeah, but this wasn't in the 1800s. No. Well, I know, I know, I know. Okay. But Keep I know going. it wasn't. Keep but, going. But I'm saying back when I wanted to, back yeah. when I did this story, I was like probably five Okay. <laughs> or whatever. So I come up with this theory in my mind, which I mean, for a five-year-old, you got it's pretty, pretty genius, right? The horse theory, yes. Yeah. So, yes. so I come up with my mind, like if I can make some money, if I buy a saddle, yes, mom and dad will have to get me a horse. Because, have to. Because if you have a saddle, uh huh, you're gonna have to get the guy a horse. Why not? I never got the saddle, but that's I'm sure where this stems from. Now I have. Now we have two bike again, seats. Again, if you're camping out at home, again, that would be two bike seats. One and bike rack. A bike rack that holds three bikes. Holds three bikes and has zero bikes and also not buying a bike. Not desire for a bike. Because not going to Pennsylvania. Yeah, not going to Pennsylvania. And you could ride bikes around here at night because we have sidewalks and people have golf carts with golf cart tracks and we live so close to so many bodies of water. Yes, but it's not the bike, the riding of the bike. It's being out it's in the nature and being home. Of the, the traffic here is and you're, just and you're out crazy. there totally alone. Like there's times I spent hours and hours on various sections of that track, never yeah. seeing another soul. And that would be still to this day because yes. we know everybody. Everybody got an Easter card. Everybody got a Christmas card. Yeah. This week I filled out probably thirty Christmas cards, and most of them went to yes. every single person in that town. Yes, and my aunt. My Aunt Pudge, Pudge, and my Uncle Herb. Shout out, Aunt Pudge, Uncle Herb. We love you. Um, 
always, they're so excited when, we, and finally we're going to clear this up because with, she gets an Easter card or Christmas card and she calls me and leaves a message on my phone. Oh, we're so thankful you think of us, you remember us. Man, listen, I love you, I think of you. I have zero things to do with those cards. <laughs> right here, right here is who's responsible for those cards. She's the one who takes the time to pick out these cards. I do, I picked them out because yeah. she likes like she knows certain, folklore yeah. and like country. So I try to match the stamps and I try to do a calligraphy. <laughs> doesn't always work and I do skip like when you were really really sick well, I had to skip a few holidays but but listen but yeah. the, my I'm saying my input she always calls like thank yeah. you so much for always thinking of it means I had, so much so it, it really does but I have zero to do with those cars because she takes she time knows that. She, 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 I don't know if she knows for she sure knows. she takes time to, now here I'm not but I'm gonna cement it in her head because every time it comes around says should we send anybody any cards I go no that's what he says. Every time. Like this Christmas, like we used know. to send 150 Christmas cards, literally 150. And we've gotten it down and he's like, we could send like 10. And I'm like, we can't send 10. This year we sent like 70. And like, and that's like, the bare she's minimum. She's like, you know your aunt is just gonna love. I'm like, yes, I know. So if you wanna And we know people that display you... Christmas cards the month long yes. or their birthday month, um, they and they they tell me. But I know what it, it's. That's a chore for you her. Oh my goodness! You send the best cards. It cards. takes her hours and hours to do these things. It's and, fun. Well, it's fun in a way, but then you're like, oh, I have to. Do I know it snuck on me. Easter yeah. snuck up yeah. so fast this yeah. year. So, anyways. You're quite welcome for the Easter cards. We love you. And, but, and if you're but not listen. getting an Easter card, please know my hand is yeah. just going to fall off yeah. if I do anymore. Yes, and we still love you nonetheless. That's why I'm always like, no, they'll, they know I love them. I, I know. It's costing us hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Our budget is like more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we thrift, so we could buy really good cards. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be the longest video. Okay. This I didn't buy at the bins. I went to a new thrift store. It was, think of a house of horrors at Halloween. It's somebody's house where the house has very, very tiny rooms and very dark lighting. And it's in the back of a church and you walk in and you're surrounded and every doorway gets smaller and smaller. And even the bathrooms, it's truly a house. It's a tiny house. The bathrooms, you can open up the shower and everything is priced. And then the kitchen, everything is priced. So they had the clothing one and clothing, the tops were a dollar. I'll, I'll show you at the few tops I got. It was overwhelming and there's no baskets and there's people everywhere. So. I made it through the clothing one and I was like, oh, I don't think I could do this anymore. And then there's a second one of household and the household was a little bit better. And whoever designed the glasswares did it rainbow order. And let me just tell you, that would probably be the most fun job I could possibly think of. Don't you think? You, like have a, for me. you have a lot of jobs that you think would really be fun. I know that would be. I love, well, organizing. love organizing. I love staging. I love putting you're, things you're really in into color. Roy G. Bibbs thing. I love color theory. Hmm. So then you get through that one, and there's a furniture one. But at that point, I was done. I couldn't even do a third haunted house of craziness. So I bought these um, for four dollars, but they might have been on sale for two. I honestly don't know. And they're wood. Yes. And it looks like you can send in your dog's picture or pick out like pre made pictures and they make your dogs for you. So they might have been four, they might have been two. I literally don't know. Um, so this one's a Yorkie, obviously. Hmm. This one is a dog. A poodle, I think. A poodle? I think so. With the curly hair in the top? Maybe. Maybe hmm. a doodle? Uh, okay. I don't know. Sure. This one is two, and it has like a burgundy mat, and maybe a lab and a golden retriever. I I'm sure that's a mom and it's pup. Oh, really? I would think that's what it would be. A mom and it's pup, yeah. Okay. But um, I liked them um, because they're wood, number one, and they're not breakable, so I could ship them. And they were either two or four dollars, and all the money went to the food bank. So, um, that was that. That was not at the bins. 
also not at the bins. This I went back and this person recognized me. If you're watching me, person who recognized me, thank you for recognizing me. She's person. like, it was um, the thrift store I went to that had the warehouse in the back and it was mm -hmm. pouring. So the warehouse, I don't even know if I was supposed to film the warehouse, to be fair. But it was $9.63 and this is what I got. Ribbon. Right. Imagine. Right. More ribbon. I go through a lot of ribbon. And then shirts were a dollar. Ribbon was a dollar. Shirts were a dollar. Two dollar shirts were a dollar. And a dress was three. Um, so this was a different thrift store. Tommy Bahama. Oh, that's very cool. This one's really that's pretty. A, is that just leaves or what is it? Uh, it's like a Monsera plant. Okay. Um, and it's silk cotton. Did I say that? <laughs> Uh, you did now. Okay. This one is not necessarily like a super well-made brain brand, but it's Jane and Dean, and I like to. Jane lot. and Dean. Jane. Jan and Dean. That's a. Those are musical artists. Jan and Dean. Jane and Delancey. Okay. Jan and Dean are surf Somebody. surf artists. I feel it though. It's kind of almost bouncy. Okay. I feel like we're not giving enough props to my musical reference. Okay. Jan sorry. Dean. Jan and Dean are surf music artists from way back in the day. So, yes. So they were, like folk? No, they're like Beach Boys. Folk. Oh, yeah, Jan and Dean. Jan and okay. Dean. Right. Um, but it is very soft, that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think I could wear this with leggings because the bottom is longer. Yes. I'll and it was a dollar. And then this dress was uh, $3. But you can feel it. Oh, yeah. It's cotton. Yes. Um, I might keep that for the beach if oh. we ever get back to the beach. Is that a cover or what you call a cover? It's or a you dress. just use this one? It's a dress. What do you mean you're using it if we go to the beach then? Oh, like, you know, I just don't sit in my swimsuit the whole way there back oh, and you, forth. But you usually have a thing you call a cover. So Yeah, this would be a cover up for me. It would be a cover for you. But yeah, it, but I could it's just, probably but it is wear just it. a dress. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, it's okay. a size medium. Okay. But look, it even has like a pocket. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like it. I think I, I would be addressed. Right. And then last thing, also a dollar, um, it is called CMC Color Me Cotton Made in the USA. Okay. I'm sure you're going to want me to feel this as well because yep. we know we have, she has a thing with me feeling things. Yeah. What is it? Cotton. It's cotton. Yeah. It's not my color, but I like it a lot. Look at the buttons. Yes. It's very, like a tunic. Very fun. Okay, so that was a different thrift store. That was a thrift store um, that donates to vets. Oh, veterans. Yes. Yes. But there was one more bag at that House of Horrors. Um, I'm calling it that. It's it's not really. No, no disrespect. It's just meant. No, no, it was not what I expected. Just not very organized. No, super well organized. Oh. Very tiny. Okay. Like, very. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Like that. Okay. Gotcha. So all tops were a dollar despite the price tag. Okay. This is a J. Jill um, kimono knit, black and white. All right. It's kind of like business casual. Why don't I feel that? Okay. Or blue and white. Do you think it's, oh, it's kind um, of purple. It's kind of purple, but. I think you could do it with blue or black. But I'm leaning to the gray, the parts that are not color, I'm leaning yeah. to the gray. Now, I'm not an extra small, but I think you'd be fine with this, even up to a medium. Um, another J. Jill cotton. All right. A very thin cotton. Yeah. This one was $2 and they are sold out on Amazon this is cool. for 50 This Isn't is cool? really cool. Do you feel how thick this is? Well, Champions, that, that's good stuff. Well, sort of. They sell it at Walmart, but this is a true Champion um, yeah. reverse weave. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great. size small, but it was it's $2. Awesome. I liked it a lot. Yeah. And then a couple more things. This is too small for you. It would be too cropped. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I like, you know, yeah. okay. like that. Yep. Shockingly enough, although I had never heard of this brand, it is also Jane and Delancey. Okay. It reminded me of my mom. Yes, I could see that. Right? Yes. And it is also rayon or cotton. Mm -hmm. Then we had um, these pants were $2. They remind me of old money. 
Okay, like, I could get that. Like Martha yeah. Stewart yeah. Omar's from the 90s. <clears throat> and they're size yes. 14, but I think they would even fit like a 12. Okay. And they're cotton, and I liked them a whole lot. Very nice. If I wore red, I would I would wear those. Yes. And then we had two IKEA pillowcases. Each hmm. were 50 cents. Yeah, I wouldn't want these as a pillowcase. They're cotton. I know, but I, it's, 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 it's kind of cotton. I wouldn't want I don't know whatever it is. But. Oh, they're like um, a canvasy cotton. It's like linen, linen almost. Almost. But the yeah. pink matches in here. They're nice. Almost matches couch, but like. Whoa, I don't we'd know. We'd really that. be stretching this. That would really be stretching this. It's not bad. No. They're, they're nice. Yeah, they are but, really but nice. The theme, and for the 50 theme, cents. The theme doesn't work for here either. Yeah, no. So all of this was, what did I say, $9? I guess so. So that's what that was, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, back to the bins. Do you want to do more stuff from your bins? We are on, okay. like, clothing, so if you're, like, off of clothing, feel free to just turn us off at this point. Okay. Goodbye. Just, just quickly, um, I have to ask about this because yes. we referenced this one time before. You can't see pictures in your head. I can't. Okay. So, like, if she closes her eyes and you say, picture this, she can't do that. So yes. What is I it? can't even see black. And, oh, really? Yeah. I just see, pretend you're seeing out of your arm or out of your toe. You just can't do it. Like, what do you see out of your knee right now? I can't imagine that. So, to, exactly. me, to me, it has to be white or black. No, it's not. Okay, but anyway, at any rate... If I look at the sun long enough and then I close my eyes, I can see spots. <laughs> That's about it. All right. Okay, so what is that called? Um, aphantasia. Aphantasia, okay. When you were describing this yes. thing, you were so detailed on the how it's thinning out with the yes. hallway. You even had your eyes closed as you were describing that. Correct. What was happening? The f okay, so I was... Ex allowing my body to experience what it was experiencing in the claustrophobia. Okay. And it it was like a, a flow chart, but like a family tree, like pie chart, but I didn't see it. It was so, like all of the feelings and the sense, and this is gonna sound weird, the colors okay. were chaos. I wasn't seeing exact colors, I was seeing and feeling how chaotic okay. and narrow it was. Okay. But not seeing, feeling, feeling. Are you explaining to me what was happening? Yes. As you were telling this story, yes. when you closed your eyes, are you yes. explaining to me what happened? Is that, yes. is that your explanation to yes. what was happening? Yes. Why did you close your eyes? Because if I wasn't closing my eyes right now, I'd be looking at this. Okay. And I so wouldn't be putting myself, yes. So it'd be distractions. So yes. you close your eyes to avoid distractions. Yes. But by closing your eyes, you don't see white or black. You just see no. nothing. Nothing. Okay. But somehow you were able to recall that just from memory? Yes. Because you described it so well. It's like somebody's closing their eyes. Exactly what somebody would do. Yes. If they're telling a story. They're closing their eyes. They're putting themselves back in that as you're walking. But you're not doing that. So that's why I didn't understand what was I happening. was making myself relive. The emotions or whatever. Yes. So the you're, so you're feeling able to, so you're, and the sensation on my skin. You're able to do that? Yes. Wow. What do you mean, wow? You can see things. I can see things, but I can't, I can't, well, I mean, of course, there are times I relive emotions. Okay. But most of them, most of them are not, I can't conjure them up. They okay. happen to be. Uh, I was hearing things and, like, I heard a baby cry in a high pitch. I was... I mean, I was putting myself sure. back in the exact sure. situation. But even as you say that, when you say yeah. a baby crying in a high pitch, I picture a baby immediately. Sure, but I wasn't. I didn't I know you, hear, I, I know didn't you see did. the baby. I know, I oh, know. Oh, okay. I understand all that. Yeah. But I'm saying, when you tell me that story. Sure. And the most people, when yeah. you when you say something, there's images coming in their head, so they follow along sure. with your story. Yes. So even people that see things in their head, like most people, when they yeah. tell a story, they close their eyes so they can do so I didn't understand, know, knowing you, yes. I know that you can't see anything. No. So I'm like, well, how is it, why is she closing her eyes if she can't see anything? Because I have other emotions but, but past that's, sight. But that's what I'm saying. So I, yeah. that's a, that to me, that's a bit of a superpower because I can't conjure up emotions from, from a time and a place. Yeah. 
Even I, I can picture it in my head. I can usually do it better with trauma. Well, I mean, geez, we don't want to do that. But, no, but I'm saying the worse something is experienced, the more it imprints on my brain or most people's brains. So, but this wasn't a bad experience. This, 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 this. It wasn't a good experience. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, let's move on. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. Here's a pair of fun shoes. They're Bionic Beaches, which are sold at QVC and probably retailed for about $68. And they are a waffle weave in a very neutral color and they have a goring so they slip on and they're my size and they're pretty clean you'll be able to clean them up so of nice course. and um and i can't tell if i want to keep them or not <laughs> um they're a little big because they're a nine and a half see what i mean this this reminds me of a shoe uh -huh. and lucille would have worn big shoes and, no this style of shoes yeah, style and this material I don't yeah. Know. yeah it's like a waffle weave so i think i'll have to sell them because i think they're going to be too big and flip floppy and they're not they're slides but they're not really slides and they're really just for decoration anyways they're not there's, that is something you, even if they were smaller that is something you could you would go walking in yeah what would i go walking in well, my what, Birkenstocks. Yes, there yeah. you go. They're they're at least supportive and good yeah, shoes. These, these are very good shoes. There's no, they're completely flat. So generally speaking, a walking shoe isn't completely flat. Okay. I don't like think you're realizing. See, yes, I see inside. Have, I see inside. Okay. I'm going by the sole. The sole. Oh, the sole I'm is flat. I'm going by the sole. It's completely flat. Sure. Most walking shoes are not completely flat. They have a little wee bit. Let of, me see your walking shoes. There you go. Just look at my shoes right there. Yeah, I guess they're grippy. Not only grippy, they're they, beach shoes, though. Only, that's what I'm saying. They're for okay. decoration. Okay, I'll they're for decoration. Sure. Okay, these, why don't you, you must just, this is just a whole bunch of clothes. Okay, here. I'll go through clothes pretty quickly. Yes. Clothes were $1.99 under 25 pounds, but we bought more than 25 pounds, I'm assuming, so they were probably roughly $159. Right, it's about right. Sounds good. You looked up these boys' baseball Under Armour um, pants. Baseball pants. Baseball, baseball pants. pants. Mm -hmm. And they look like they're in really good shape. They do, yes. And they are a youth junior medium. Mm -hmm. And Bear looked them up, and I let him make the choice because baseball. Well, no, not because baseball, just because he's. I literally didn't care. That's probably the best truth. This is a Patagonia cotton skirt, size medium in an olive color. Um, I liked the length. It's not super, super short, but it's not super long. Feel it. It's cotton. Okay, of course. There we go. Yep. Um, I love the color, but I don't think I'll wear it because skirt. This I love, loves. This reminds me of old money. It's Ralph Lauren, size medium. But look at the gold um, buttons. They, they're like uh -huh. shiny gold Ralph Shiny Lauren gold. Buttons. Let me feel this. And they're the cable knit. And it feels it's, like a sweater, sweaters I used to have. Yeah, it's a cable knit sweater. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. And somewhere it had like a little gold Ralph Lauren placard. Now it's the green label, so it's like Macy's. So probably like not on sale 149 but you could probably get it for like $80 probably. Now, now here's a perfect example. That sweater, I, I touched that sweater, and I can immediately picture me wearing a sweater just like that, where I was, and blah, 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 but I can't conjure up the emotion of it. Well, you must have liked it. You wore the sweater. I know, but you're saying you can conjure up emotion, like you can make yes. yourself feel like you're the exact. Actual, exactly like you felt then. Yes. I can't do that. That's not a normal, that's not a normal power. That's like a superpower or something. I think that's a normal no. thing. The... the seriously people I really want to know if anybody out there do you think that's like a normal thing like you can conjure up the exact emotions from a certain time in your life now it depends a lot of people have like if you smell the thing you can picture where you are and I blah, have blah, that blah. I don't have that right because that's again that's picturing something in your head and you can't well, do that well that's a scent that's a different emotion the scent immediately puts something in my head yeah so you can't do that. If I touch something, I also can't do it. Right. I can do that too. I can tell it's cotton, but I couldn't tell you when I was wearing it. Right. This and exact I can do cotton. all stuff. It conjures up things in my head. Yeah. But I can't conjure up the exact emotions, though. But I can conjure up. 
I don't know what to call it. Not empathy. The... I don't know what to call it. Like you just remember how it felt at that time. At that yes. See, at that, ex at that exact moment. Yes. You remember how it felt. That would be, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. No, it's not because a lot of times I remember the bad things. But can you remember the good things too? Yeah, like we went to the Grand Canyon and I was just telling Lisa, and like the eclipse is coming and Lisa's going to see the eclipse, which, oh, I wish I could see the eclipse, the total eclipse. We're only going to see like 60% of it. But I remember last time I saw it and I was amazed, but like when I saw the Grand Canyon, I remember it was mind boggling, but past that, I don't remember how my skin felt or how it smelled. You don't remember how it felt or smelled, but you remember the emotion. Yes, it was good. That's amazing. And also, how many people out there, Total Eclipse of the Heart, when she said Total Eclipse, come on. Probably had, took till now to come I back. I think it's back. April 8th. A lot of people are, are in the totality. Um, we are not even close, but we should still be getting about 50%. Okay. So Anyways, that's a superpower. That. I don't care what I, you say. Superpower. You see movies with your eyes closed. Okay. <laughs> Swimsuits, we picked up, uh, I picked up some. This is just a tankini top. It's Leilani. It is a size 16. It does have an underwire bra, which isn't always the case, which gives a really nice support. And if you needed to add extra padding, if you had a mastectomy, both, either one, and needed to add something, that's a really nice thing to mention. And it's a longer length, so like you could easily put this with most bottoms you would already own or a skirt. Staying totally out of the uh, discussion about bathing suits for women. Okay. Move next. Oh. I am. Another bathing suit. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I might have to try this on. I love this color blue on me. It is a large, um, and I don't know who makes it. It has an RN number, but um, it was made in China. And I'm assuming it does have the pads, but it doesn't, it has the elastic. You see what I mean? I and the I pads do come out, but they're not as well made. Okay. It is a crossover. Okay. Pretend I did this in, in fast motion, not slow motion. Um, well, it looks like something you wear. It looks like one you have already. I know. It looks like about four I have already. Okay. But the the only thing I'm not loving, now it is ruched, which is cute, and it has the bow. The legs have um, elastic. I don't love that because it binds me. I thought the ones you have don't have that. Correct. That's why I probably won't keep it. Okay. Well, you really, I mean, in fairness, do you need four bathing suits? I probably have six, so no. Okay, so probably. Um, also, it has the little thing inside. Okay. Okay. Yep. Next are shorts. These are per se. Um, I don't think it's related to jeans purse. I think this is a completely, you don't know, but jeans purse is a fairly well-named brand. Size large. I will probably keep these because these look like me. Actual person in this James purse? Um, it's a brand name. I don't know if it's a person or not. Okay. But don't these look like me? Indeed they do. And they have like where you can button them up and make them. Well, they look shorter the tiny, than, you, than you wear already. Correct. Actually. But they could be a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, I don't know why you would need them. Yeah, I don't know either. Literally you'd like centimeters cut a, you'd have longer. You'd cut something to get them longer, though. But, stitching. yeah, they are a little bit shorter, but they're still pretty much knee length. And Ooh. with all the gardening I freaking be doing. All right. You have to be working in the garden. Yeah. I was really, really hoping to find more of these, but I only found one. These are diaper covers. Okay. And um, you see how fancy. Yeah, that's what they are. They're just decoration diaper um, covers. Yeah, people, you, you, your mom used to wear like cotton diapers pinned. Yes. These would go over that. Yes. Okay, so it wouldn't like spill out. Oh, okay. It would get another layer of protection. Okay. These are assembly, E-S-E-M-B-L-Y by, now this is like a, a co-brand, the two brands came together, by Oliver Jeffries in a size one. And these should bring about $15. And I probably paid about a quarter for it. So what are those retail? Um, 
probably about $20, but the brands are so smart. They're so smart with marketing. They do limited prints and this person and this person came together to do this limited print. Okay. So, and look so they, make all, like, they make all baby stuff? No, not necessarily. Okay. L.L. Bean, size 18, black pants. Feel them, they're like a nylon hiking pant. <laughs> and they have a lot of zippers, which is so nice when you're hiking. Like, a lot of deep pockets. I don't have to sell anybody who's a woman on a pocket. Men just don't know sometimes. Bear knows because I tell them all the time I don't have pockets. Oh, I'd hate that. But even, like, you could hike these up and make them capris if you're walking through water. So you could hike them up if you were hiking? Yes. Okay. Um, two very similar brands. This one's Isaac Mizrahi, who is a designer goddess, and he would appreciate that title so much. He is a man, but he would love that. This is their live collection QVC. It's their essentials, navy blue, size large, cotton, probably retailed on QVC for about $50, $60. Now, I picked this up you would think same exact thing. No, no, it's also a QVC brand, size large, Denim & Company. So I'm assuming, because these are both QVC, they make them in the same factory. So this one is a purple, that one is blue, both cotton. This is a Lululemon. Lululemon used to be a great brand. Now, eh, I might keep this for myself just because Again, once summer hits and I have to, it has like fun little things in the back. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Cropped Adidas. Okay, fun. Yeah, right. I think somebody hoodie. cropped this by themselves, if I had to guess. Yep, it's a hoodie. It's a hoodie, but cute, and I liked the croppedness of it, and yep. it is a size large, and I don't like the material inside. Do you? No, but it doesn't bother me at all. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. This is Free People. Free People does rather well. It's just a little staticky. I don't like that. Yeah, the but fleece. But we don't have winter around here, so it doesn't get too static. That's true. Um, size small, but Free People fits. I mean, this would really fit probably up into like an extra large. This is, but I love the Free People. It's just adored by so many people. It's a part of anthropology. And it's a top. My mom is gonna be so, and again, these were all at the bins. Johnny was, which this probably retailed for about $150, mm -hmm. uh, size large, embroidered. Very nice, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. going as fast as I can. It's good. <laughs> this is like a ballet skirt. Okay. Now, you can't necessarily read the tag, but it's mm -hmm. a size two, which is probably their small. Um, L-U-N-A-L-U-X. Made in the USA, size medium, it is a medium. And it's pink and stretchy, but then it has the ties. So I'm just gonna tie this up because this is so exciting to me. You could make it into like a short bubble skirt. Do you oh, see what I mean? Yeah, I do, yeah. Love that. I love when people design stuff like that, like a convertible. These are Ralph Lauren Polo, just pajama pants. I might keep them for myself, size extra large cotton. This is a very me top uh, dress, Talbots, size large, blue, my color. You need any kind of breaks or just move on? You can keep going. Okay, obviously men's Adidas tennis shoes. Once again, this is You perfect. found these. Yes. Example, these would not be good walking shoes because splat sole. Got it. But so what do you use them for? Tennis. Oh, you just said that. Yes, good. Yeah, I thought when you said tennis shoes, you were just talking about like the dialect you used to use. Oh, yes, I understand. But you can see this is good for traction because tennis, you're stopping quick and cutting. Got it. So, what size are they? Uh, they're 12, 12 13s. Um, People might want to buy them. Yeah, <laughs> they might want to buy you them. You have to sell a them. A guy should say, is that the same? That is a 14. Whoa, it's 14. Okay, very large. Very large. You should try them on. <laughs> I did. I, I don't know if I tried them on or not. 
these are very colorful and I want to first let's start with the size if we can see it. They're a hoka. I don't know if they're a men's or women's. Well, these are going to be hard. I'm going to guess an 11. They are definitely a Japanese 29, so I could easily look that up and yeah. um, hokas do really well. They are so oh, yeah? popular right now. Yeah? So popular. Great. Let's see if they'll put you. That'd be great if they would. They don't, but I'm going to say they might be a men's nine. Okay. If I had to So just, they're a little too big, yes. huh? Yeah, they're probably about a size of a That is a real shame because that'd be a great shoe for you to walk in. I have walking shoes. Well, okay, let's use them. I, I did use them when you the feel other good enough. day before I was very, When you very feel good sick. enough, that's okay. great. Yeah. And you have, I, I, have keep, I keep forgetting about the parking socks. Those are actually yeah. shoes. Yeah. Okay. No, I actually have running shoes. Okay. Okay. Adidas shoes seem to be doing fairly well. Uh, Bear did a lot of this himself. Yeah. And, and again, these are at least 13s. I don't know. I've tried 13s. These 13s, yeah. So they need clean, but you you clean. are excellent at cleaning shoes. Seriously, you are. Um, they are the barricade um, model. model, which I think is a really high end. I don't know. Did you look these up as barricade? Not as barricade. I did not. No. Okay. I think this is a limited edition. Shoe, if oh, I do you want to take time to look it up? I don't have my phone because we're filming on it, so no. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Okay. These are a form of Air Jordans anyways. Nice. Yep. So uh, These already look fairly clean. So um, yeah. these are the Air Monarch again. Yeah. Size 12. These are all decent sizes, too. I thought, too. Yeah. Hey, you're doing awesome. You're killing it with the shoes. <laughs> I don't know if I sell most of these. I just see these. You looked these up for me. Um, these are. I found these, right? Did uh, I find these, or you I don't know them? who found these, but you looked oh, them up. Okay. Lone cone, lone cone, uh, size two, toddler. Kid I'm pretty boots. sure I found those. These I'm not sure of. I'm pretty sure I found those. Ones. Uh, Joel's or Joelis size, um, US 13, so toddler. They're sharks. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, no, I know they're fun. Well, I was asking what kind of animal they were. Oh, those yeah, are I would say shark. sharks. Yeah, they're shark. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. These are smaller. Yeah. Uh, there's a piece of clothing snuck. I snuck in piece of clothing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, these are yoga, uh, yoga top. I can, I can just tell because of the material. Um, who makes this, though? This is Manduka, made for yoga, size small. It has um, like the slit in the back for when you get hot, and it has like a double and a mesh. Um, but the mesh you wouldn't see because it's flat. Okay. But it would give you some breathing. Well, if you have indeed stayed with us this long, you would, I would like to refer you back to the said. Pots and pans. Pots and pans bin where my girl said just grab something and there was absolutely nothing in there that I would have any idea about at all. And so then I went everybody went through and I went through and found the thing. So I went to another bin and she found this. That has nothing to do with it. It just sounds cool to me. Make it a symbol. Yeah. So uh, apparently it's something you said. I did say it is marked um, 20. Uh, no. Yes. No, that's, that's, that's a dyslexic 20. So it has to either be 50. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's definitely a 20 because. How, how can it be 20 when it's written that way? Because when the pot sits on top of it, the 20 would have been on the bottom and they would have taken that same stamp and marked it on the top. I see what you mean in a mirror it would be. Yeah. It's mirrored 20. Okay. But that's definitely, I'm guessing Yeah, you'd have to look about, at it from this side for it to yes. be 20. You'd have to look through it. Correct. Okay, so all right, so 20, so you're guessing Okay. That. So here's my guess. Okay. I'm guessing, I don't know this, this is stainless steel. I'm guessing it's gonna clean up beautifully. It could either be stainless or cast iron. It's cast iron. You think it's cast iron? It's cast iron. Country, country boy. Yeah. No, I understand. But it's not seasoned well enough, and the top doesn't look like cast iron. So I'm guessing the top 
might be stainless and the inside is cast iron. Very real possibility. Right? Very real so possibility. So probably had a cast iron and stainless. I'm guessing this was made in Japan, Japan, hand forged. Okay. And I'm gonna guess, just based on no yes. knowledge, we got on it. Costumes, we got it. You're guessing. I would be able to sell this for fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars, just the top. Okay. Imagine if we had the pot. We shall see. I know. I couldn't. There was no pot. Oh yeah. I looked through. This was. Okay. All right. I so, have more. Oh, go ahead. I know. I'm so sorry. All right, I won't have that for... You can put that on. Oh, okay. I sprayed it. Well, I'm not worried about that. Somebody put this back. Oh, oh, that's right. Somebody, somebody oh, yeah, I don't remember. Somebody did. Okay. They put it back there in the line, and I was like, oh, um, excuse me. This is Broner from BronerHats.com. Okay. It is made in the USA of all genuine leather, size extra large, mm -hmm. and it is part of the United Hunters Cap and Millinery Workers Union. Okay. Which means they're getting hopefully paid enough to make hats in the correct way. But how good do you look in this hat? Well, if you would quit spinning it and give it to me, I'll put it on my head. Also, I love the distressing. It's like authentic. I think you look great in that hat. Okay, good. So we'll leave it on. Go ahead. Okay. Um, also, I bought you these, but you didn't like them. These are totally nothing I would wear. Understand. But if you were working at the beach. <laughs> no, sweetheart, okay. you know I have I the know. most gorgeous shoes that I paid more money for than I've ever paid for in my entire life. That's true. Why, if I needed any black shoe, would mm -hmm. I wear anything but those? They're made in Brazil. They're leather. They remind me of the Gucci horse bit. They're a size 13. And they're in really good shape. They're a driving moccasin, kind of. All right. And Here somebody put these back, too, and they should sell for at least 50 bucks. Okay. okay. These are... Ralph Lauren Polo, size, I'm gonna guess 30, 32, just based on what I don't know. Hopefully you can see a size 31. Oh my goodness, I'm so close. Oh, that's darn close. Um, these might fit me, but I have a lot of this kind of thing and the Ralph Lauren man cotton. Mm -hmm. Sophie Fellay for Livy Active. These are um, a recycled polyester. Again, kind of that active yoga 1820, so good size. Love the length, love the pattern. They have the it's logo on the back. Isn't that a gorgeous pattern? The yes, turquoise and the blues, and the, I don't have to keep going on. Nope, you don't. This was handmade. And I know this happens a lot in Shanghai, and Shanghai has some of the best, I think, personally, I've never been to Shanghai, um, custom, fast um, seamstresses, embroiders in the world. They make, I know you had a suit made in... I did. China? China? My, the, my custom suit? Yes. In Pennsylvania. Correct, but it was, they didn't make it in Pennsylvania. It had a, it was in Shanghai or something. It was in China. It was made in an Asian. Anyway, um, this is stunning. This is rainy, but it feels like linen. And I mean, just the craftsmanship. I had to pick it up and it's in perfect shape. I did not wash this. I did not bleach this. I did not iron this. This came from the bins. Amazing. I I'm might keep this. I love this. I, I don't know that I love the material. It's a little stiff, but I'm guessing somebody starched it. Also from the bin, somebody put this back at the very end. Ralph Lauren Polo XXL. Yes. Uh, it is their Regency Classic Fit in like a pink and dark blue stripe with white and no Ralph Lauren man? What? There's no Ralph Lauren man? Where's the dude with the Ralph Lauren? This is definitely an authentic label. And buttons. Are you thinking that will fit me? No. Oh. 
I've just never seen a Ralph Lauren. This is actually their 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 thing though. Where is the Ralph Lauren man? I don't know, sir. Apparently this one does not have a Ralph Lauren man. I have never seen so that you ever. picked this up just on based on it was a Ralph Lauren. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Sorry. No, just um, this is linen. It might bring fifteen twenty dollars. It is N Y N I N C uh, Macy's one hundred percent linen. It's like a jacket, like an office jacket, a summer office jacket. Okay. Like keep it at your desk. Sure. I liked that it had some ruffles and some pleating, and it's kind of business casual for Florida. Good size. Yeah, that would be wonderful. This is Kashik. Somebody told me how to pronounce this. I don't remember. It is a 54C, so 54 is the band. Goodwill originally had this marked at 239. Can't believe it sold. You said 54 is the band. I was like, is it a band? That's I a, know what you meant oh. like later on. But. Yes. And then the cup size, of course, is C. It's it's such a pretty color. And a lot of times for larger bands, now things are obviously changing. But um, so pretty. Isn't that such a pretty design? It is a very nice design. Okay. I have three, so I'm gonna save this one. These are longer burger baskets. Have you ever heard of longer burger baskets? No, I'm can't sure see you that. have. No. no. Huh. Are you serious? Yes. They're the you're, number one basket company in the but world. But you, you think your husband yes. of 21 years has heard Who of them? Who lived in the country? Oh, that's a country thing? That's a fancy Baskets? thing. Baskets? That is a fancy oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, good point. Okay, but anyway, um, they're basket liners. So, um, also they could be hats, but this one is a bigger one, and then this one is the smaller one, and then this one is the Easter one. You could put like dinner rolls in it and stuff. But again, I'll probably lock them up for 10 to $15. This I haven't looked up. It is called Year of Hours, and it is a smaller sports bra, size extra small, made in the USA. It's like a periwinkle kind of color. I liked the straps. Don't you? Sure. Okay. That's not the look. Yeah. Another bra. This one is um, Beautiful Rosa Fia Cup B. 44. It's a 44B in a beigey kind of color. I liked that it had a lot of like mesh so it didn't dig in as much. And of course, the straps are adjustable, which some of them aren't nowadays, which make your straps adjustable. We don't always have the same torso. Also, feel this bra. Okay. Doesn't that feel amazingly well made? Yes, it does. I know. This one is made by um, Auden, which might be a Target brand now that I'm thinking about it, but it's the Sublime. I don't think, I think it is a Target brand. And it is a 40 double D in like a plum, and it's slightly padded with a lace overlay, and it does have underwire support. Another swimming suit. This is a maternity one off shoulder, a little ruffle. Again, adjustable strap. Love that. This one also had the brand new thing, and I think this was a size large. It is, and it was called Summer May. This one might not be maternity. I thought about a maternity. Maybe not. And again, it looks like every swimsuit I own, except elastic I can't do. I like this a whole lot. Loose nice clayboard. Like I know. I want my whole wardrobe of this color, suddenly. It is a rayon spandex, loose clayboard weekend, uh, long sleeve. You want to feel it? Why, of course. Okay. It is brand new with tags. It was originally sold at JCPenney. Is JCPenney still a thing? Oh. I think it was, is that JC Penny? No. I don't, I don't think so. Um, yeah, JC Penny. Hmm. Bold blue, $44. 
this is Logo Lavish. Logo is a QVC exclusive brand, didn't used to be, they bought them out, size 2X. Logo is one of QVC's most popular brands. It is like a light coffee color and they're lavish. I bet you this costs close to $100. It's a very lagging look, oversized, layered piece that's meant to like bulk up with other things. You can wear it over things, under things, but it is slightly see-through. But they do a really nice job with the print matching, which this one doesn't have, the embroidery, the attention to details, the buttons. They do a really, really nice job. The pin tucking is really well done. That's a line from a Chuck Berry song. Pin tucking? Nope. Oh. Coffee colored Cadillac. Oh. You said it was coffee colored. This one, um, I think is vintage. It's made in Pakistan and there is no, now this might be a fake piece. I don't know because NASCAR is not on here and it's called Kuzu made in Pakistan. So sometimes things are fake and this could be a fake NASCAR shirt. Yep. But I liked it a whole lot. Now, can I sell it if it's fake? No, I cannot. Would anybody care? Probably not. But I would know, so I might sell it online. And then I can just put it. This is Johnny Heaven. I haven't found the brand Johnny Heaven in ages, probably 15 years. They are coming back. This is such like a 2000s shirt. You could see it on Hillary Duff, unlike the runway before she had a stylist. I know you have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you about. mind if I, if I exit for just a little bit and Go return? Go for it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm useless here right at the moment. Okay. No, it's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Oh. You can, I only have this much left. Yeah, I was just gonna go get a bite of a food and I come right back. Food? Is that okay? 100% it's okay. okay. I'm sorry, I see I'm having the off. best time of my life. Great, here. great, great, but I'm not adding to your time, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, I know you're hungry. We've been at this for no, hours. No, it's just, no, it's just, I'm not. Boring. Yeah, I'm not adding anything. Yeah. You should, like. No, go. Okay, I might keep this too. I don't know this brand. It is U E U Skin Friendly, which I've never heard. They are pale pink, like a dusty rose, deep pockets. Love the pockets. Um, it has this, but honestly, do we all use the drawstring? No, I don't. I usually just like go like one of those. And it is polyester spandex. It does not feel like polyester spandex. It doesn't feel like LuLaRoe. It feels more like cotton. I don't know that I'll wear it, but I'll have to look it up. This is Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky is well known for their underwear and um, their lace items of lingerie. It is a lime green. Hanky Panky does pretty well still. They've been in business for a very long time. And I think it is still family owned last time I checked. This could be a one size fits most, which unfortunate. But I would say this would fit probably a medium to an extra large. It's, it's a lime green. It's probably meant for bed, but if you wore something nude to you underneath, you could wear it out. Blue lemon bag. I just pick these up in case I have Lululemon pieces. This is a Lily Pulitzer. Recognize this right away. This is a child's Lily though. It is their pink brand, pink um, newer label, size medium, which is their six seven, six seven, made in Indonesia. Zip. It's like a little cover up beach dress. Super cute. You just tell Lily. It's cotton. Another. Um, I feel like the same person donated all of three of these pieces. This is V-A-N-G-O of Paris, size two, so probably a medium. Again, kind of Y2K. Just darling. Just darling. 
Uh, there is an outside label on it. Does it say made in Paris? It says Paris. I've never heard of the brand, but that doesn't mean anything. I liked it based on that. We are getting there. Sorry, this is taking so long. These are for me. Another pair of black leggings. You don't say, Melissa. Yes, I did. Um, size extra large, but they're probably more of a large. Everlast cotton leggings. <laughs> Um, jean shorts, lucky brand. I rarely buy jean shorts. These are size 6, 28. I like the distressing. We are coming up on summer. Um, somebody might have made these into jean shorts and distressed them, but I felt they had a very cool look. I'll probably try them on and then decide I hate denim again. Um, a bra. I liked this. I might try this on. True and Company, which I've heard. This feels like you're wearing almost nothing. It has like, I don't even know how to describe it. It is very smooth and cool to the touch. It's also almost not there. It's that barely there, but not wearing anything. It would give you almost no support. Uh, very pale pinkish kind of color. Uh, size large. Again, I might try that on. It's more of like a sleep bra or like hanging out. You don't need support bra. Pair of pants. I'm guessing this is Ralph Lauren, but I could be wrong. Live Comfortable 33 by 30 made with recycled fabrics. Like that a lot. Recycled cotton, recycled polyester. Has a lot of style numbers. Um, life khaki relaxed straight 3330. Uh, men's, but honestly, I might try these on. I wear men's pants just as I wear women's pants. They're kind of a grayish faded black. I like them a lot. Polka dot pants. Isaac Mizrahi, actually. I don't know where I put the other Isaac Miss Rocky. No. Oh, well, kind of. No, they wouldn't match. Um, size 14. Uh, they have a letter all QVC items too that start with an A. You can Google them on the QVC. Just search QVC with the A number and they will bring up models, reviews, photos, everything you need to know about them. Cute wear them with lime green you could wear them with literally almost any color red white and blue they'd be adorable for any patriotic holiday you could wear them with a hunter green we're getting there i liked this too this is novelle novella seamless intimates size extra large nylon it's probably going to be a little too big on me but it is a black camisole Nice and stretchy. Athletic girl, athleta, athletic girl, athleta. I keep saying athletic. Athleta girl, uh, size medium. They are uh, girls pant, of course. Terry cloth, light blue. They do have some pilling, which I will be able to fix in no time at all. Next is, I did not even know I bought this. <laughs> it's a really good piece of fabric. And maybe I thought it was gray and I was going to plan on recovering a pillow. And no, it is Darth Vader. So there's that. Do you want anything Darth Vader covered? I don't think so. I might wrap my brother-in-law's uh, Christmas gift or birthday gifts in this because he plays video games mm -hmm. but it's a piece of fabric we're missing a baby t-shirt sorry okay that's okay is this I'm oh good good I'm sure it's somewhere this is a vintage have you seen this label in a long time um, uh, oh Sears Sears the fashion, fashion place. place it is like a robe but sheer it has the sweetest little bows on the um, shoulders and it is 
I would say longer than, oh, there's the t-shirt, longer than knee length on most. And it it's like an iridescent -y color. I have to show you the other side. And it has pastel flowers and kind of looks Easter-y. You could probably get away wearing it over a dress to be fair, but I think it's meant as like a house piece. Two last t-shirts and then you can come back. I'm so sorry this is so long. Again all of this was like $200 and I don't know that I've showed you because we've had this stuff for probably two weeks and things have gotten incorporated in the house as we've used them. Yeah. Okay two single stitch vintage kids t-shirts by kids, I really mean small kids. This one's a size six. This one is, which should I show you first? This one. My grandma and grandpa went to Hawaii and all I got with it was a shirt. Look how tiny. It's like a baby vintage shirt. Okay. And then this one, St. Thomas U.S. Virgin Islands with a map and again, single stitched. I don't see a size on it. They're so cute. I could picture like a little teddy bear wearing these. This one looks a little tinier. So maybe grandma and grandpa went there when the baby was littler. So cute, look how tiny. You were never this tiny. When no. you were born, you were a size six to 12 months. So yep. you were literally never that small. Right. Okay. Is this indeed our last item? Last item you found it, good item. Okay, last item I found it, Uggs. I don't know about Uggs because my girl like almost everything here, so that's the only thing. This this might have been one of the times I didn't, you know, go to the pan bin and found <laughs> You Uggs. went to the shoe bin and said, I still have my original Uggs. You yeah. can tell these are not original Uggs because the original Uggs say something different. They say like Australia. Oh, so these are fakes. No, no, no. Oh. They're real. Oh. Uggs just changed their tag a while back. Okay. I have the Uggs from the 90s. You should use the right words there. I mean, it sounded like it was fake. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I didn't say fake. You didn't say fake, but what, there's, what's the difference now? Um, they make the tags different now? Yeah. You could just tell they were these, newer. You said these aren't the original Uggs. Correct. They are the original Uggs, just newer. Uggs original. have been around for decades. Right. They're the newer version. They're original Uggs. They're just not a, the newer version. They're still so original company. The Sherpa right. is different. It's Sherpa. not real Sherpa. Mine are real Sherpa, these for are instance. These are too small for you. I think they're a size five, which would be very small, unless they are a kid's five. I think they're a kid's five, which would be about an adult seven to eight, because I'm a nine. And I would say they're probably too narrow Okay. to walk in, but I'm pretty sure they'd be about a woman's seven, seven and a half. Well, I'm pretty sure we can sell them. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be able to sell them, and they're in really good shape. They are in very good shape. You yes. did an excellent job with these. Uh, thank you. Did an excellent job with a lot of things. Okay. <sighs> that was a marathon. Yes. We should have broken that, oh, and a whole bunch of glasses. Just know that every single time I pick up glasses for Bear to Wear because... Put them, I put them everywhere, put them in the shop, I put them in cupboards and whatever. So. We used to buy them at Dollar Tree and then we found packs them for like five for ten dollars, fifteen dollars on really, Amazon. Really nice ones with the hinges that, that you know you can't mess up. Yeah, the ones on Amazon. The ones that you buy, yes. 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 These I have to look up. You might not be able to keep those. Well, I don't care if I keep any of them, but all but yeah. the ones that I can keep are good. I mean these these are no good anyways. Yeah. I mean, for me. These are foster grants. These are two. Oops. These are sunglasses, but I think prescription or no? Did we decide? Uh, I would say no. I think they're polarized though. This is good. I, I was looking for a pair of sunglasses the other day when I was out working because I don't want to wear my Oakleys. Okay. These are um, oh, yeah, but far the, away oh, glasses. These are, <laughs> these are foster grants? No, um, okay, what's, these, what, what are these? These are no, they're, these. they're terrible, is what they are. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, glasses are almost free, they're like a quarter a pair, so yes. um, so they're 
I probably brought you 20 pairs and you probably tossed back a bunch of them. So I did. Well, I lose them. You do lose them. And you, you, for somebody who uses glasses, I use them from far away. I don't necessarily can't see the screen in full, but I can kind of see my own movements. Okay. For somebody who needs them for reading. Yeah, I need them. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. Sure. I love you. I love you. You want to tell us how you're doing in a nutshell? Uh, Mal's is still kicking my butt. I had an ultrasound today, and well, we said this earlier because you did. thought it was hilarious. It was gas. I don't still don't get why it's funny if it's a glass. It was but, just that one bubble. Okay. Well, anyways, so we have gas, and I'm still struggling every single day. You're still struggling every single day. So I might need an hysterectomy. Yeah. There's a really, really good shot. I was going to schedule a hysterectomy last October, my doctor said. I have endometriosis, which my lining has been scraped. If you don't, I'm sure everybody knows what that means at this point. Uh, my doctor suggested hysterectomy because of all my blood work and everything coming back. And then Bear needed an operation and we couldn't do both. And then I broke my leg and then, so I am back to she's getting me in because of how long it's been in between periods and how much I've been up chucking lately. And my husband has been amazingly wonderful to clean up so much and make me feel the best I could possibly feel in that situation. But she moved up my um, follow up and so I will most likely need a hysterectomy which I'm not that concerned about. I do pretty well with pain. I'm a little concerned about the mood swings. Okay. Well, we'll have to just get through whatever it is. And yep. um, proving that I can actually a little take care of myself. This is how they fix fingers in the suburbs. <laughs> he duct taped. With, with duct tape. Now, mind you, we did pour... <laughs> Peroxide. Not alcohol. Peroxide. Peroxide yeah. And then put on yeah. a hydrocortisone band-aid and then a regular band-aid and then duct tape. So it's not just yeah. duct tape on have, infection. Have you ever had a cut and poured alcohol on it? Yes. My girl always seems to get this confused. Like she always says, if I get a cut or something, she's like, oh, pour alcohol. I'm like, oh my gosh, alcohol is so, lights you up like a fire. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, so why would you... Ask me how many times I've needed surgery well, on I, any of my no, cuts. No, I know, though. I know, but peroxide is the thing that you want. Good peroxide yeah. gets it bubbles and gets all the supposed to bubbles. Totally understand. Okay. I'm doing straight up rubbing alcohol. Oh, you're tougher than me. Come on, let's go. What are we doing? <laughs> we're not doing anything. We're just saying goodbye. We're not no. counting. Nobody needs to count anymore. We all know how to count to three or backwards oh. from three. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing okay. Thank you so much for the encouragement and prayers and whatever you believe in. Thank you for the niceties and our house now looks like a wrecking ball came through and we're doing okay. We love you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.